No, no, no. Because which one are you choosing, Dale? LeBron James Today, or Kevin Durant? Right LeBron now, James or Kevin Durant? LeBron Today, James or Kevin KD. Durant? Right now, I'm going KD. 100%. Not even close. But all in, time, in, though, all time you're going LeBron, all right? I don't know. <laughs> no, you're not! <laughs> Stop! No, you're not. Yeah, you do know. You know, bro. No, no, I don't. Yes, you do. Yes, I, I, you do, I, bro. This is it. I think. I think Kevin Durant <laughs> yes, will do, always bro. be a more talented player to me than LeBron. He just will. A more, just talented more talented or more skilled. <laughs> Why y'all tripping like prime heroes? MVP here was just this glorified mouth. The shit was regular, to be honest. It was really regular. Andrew Wiggins is better than Clay Thompson. All Clay Thompson does is shoot threes. Andrew Wiggins is a better playmaker than Clay Thompson. Kawhi's not a top 10 player in the league, and that's not a hot take. I'm serious. Kawhi's not top 10. So did, did you think that when you when you did that reaction video, all I got was comments on our on our bot on YouTube saying, Yo, Lowe reacted to you. I said, I have no idea who Lowe is. I didn't, I had no idea. And then somebody sent the link and I was like, <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting harassed on YouTube. <laughs> the, cra the crazy part about it is I feel like, I don't know, I feel like personally the things that I'm going to say isn't going to be all that crazy to be quite frank. I feel like mm -hmm. the things I said in that video are really not that crazy. And I see you you came around to it anyway that Kawhi is a top 10 player. So it's not really nothing crazy no more. Yo, no, the video, I sat there and laughed because it was very entertaining. And, it, you know, I love to be in the entertaining space. <laughs> but then I left on the, I left on the video. I said, yo, come on the show. Come on the show. But then you followed on Twitch and you followed through. So I'll give you props for that. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm definitely not one of these people who going to just talk in and not, you know, not. And sure, it, okay, you know. okay. 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 I think, special. um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. Like you said, everybody killed me for that. And I came around. I'm not, I'm also not one of these guys that were evidence presented. I'm not going to sit here and act obnoxious. Mm. So someone said I came here for the bad takes. <laughs> Yo, Flat out sports in the building. Dale's uh, bad takes. Dale's bad oh yeah. I put, I put the tweet out. So I think y'all should be good. Yeah, we got we got people funneling in. Um, I don't ever. I don't have bad takes. Check before we get started. Is there anything that you want to say? Every, every everybody has bad takes, though. Come on, everybody got bad. Takes. Everybody, Dale, Dale. I can name a bad take that you've had off the top of my head. Everybody, and you've takes. had plenty. Go. Every, every, everything that you say about Kimball Walker is false, <laughs> and I'm not going to get into that right now. He's exactly going to die on Has Been Island. Never. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Never. Yeah. Still, I'm staying for, I'm waiting for the Dell's bad take segment. Yeah. No, you, well, Lo, in case you didn't know. I'm about to say, don't make me go. I'll go back and I'll just find bad takes and then I'll just make fun of it. I, I want you to. That's what I want. I want that to happen. Lo, let me, let me tell let me just tell you this, Lo. Mm. If you didn't know, Dell and Katie are pretty chummy. I don't know if you knew this. Um, kids, kids always proud of they're IG best friends because I have to I have to warn the guest. Mm -hmm. They're really close. So whatever you may or may not say may or may not end up on Dell's story and KD may or may not reply. He's replied a few times, correct? <clears throat> yeah. I want to know Dell's bad takes. Yeah, I want to know. Because Del's that rabbit takes. hole will be jumped in more than once today. So well, you're gonna give would, a, a bad take I, in a few moments. Mm -hmm. Yo, did you see the draft that we're doing? I saw. I'm, I'm uh, everything. I didn't see. I didn't see the draft. <laughs> I can't wait to see who you <laughs> no, pick first, man. and then I can't wait to see who you pick second. He's picking all but New York know, guys. No way. Just kidding. Dude. Got Kemba. But you know what, Dale? Oh wait, what? You, you, if you pick Carmelo, you know, didn't didn't you say that you would have D Rose or Chris Paul? <laughs> No, no he said that. Westbrook <laughs> over Chris CP3 uh, cut. I don't know why you guys think CP3 is like that. And I'm and I'm glad that he's finally failed so we can come back down to reality. Failed you guys what? saying he's failed at come what? On, man. <laughs> he didn't win a ship and everybody had him. The other two <laughs> players didn't win a chip either. What are we saying? Yeah. So then I'm taking D Rose. D Rose but hasn't won a chip either. He hasn't won I a know, chip. but I'm okay. None of them have. So I'm taking D Rose and Westbrook's about to. Or audio tripping. Uh, We'll figure out. Audio's tripping, Dell. Yo, 
Welcome back, Metal Monday. Dropping bombs out here. Tripping Dales. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, once we get Dell situated, we'll get into it. Um, so Russ over CP3. <laughs> it's, it's, it's CP3 over Russ. Every day. Every day. You got to cut Russ. Yeah, I'm cutting Russ. And they'll start in Russ. That's ridiculous. That's that's a, that, that's pretty obscene. Okay, hold on. We got Dale coming in on the. Oh whoa! Yo, your audio is trippy, bro. Are Mine's. You... <laughs> yeah, it was like choppy. I couldn't hear nothing. You sounded like a robot. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody or just me? Just you. I hear you. Are we good now, though? Yeah, I have to leave and come back. Okay. Okay. Dale, are you, um, uh, you got allergies? Yeah, man. It's I don't know if I came with it from Peoria. I don't know. That's where mine started. Mm. Shout out Peoria, oh, yeah. Illinois, man. Can you bring my allergy medicines, please. Can I bring my allergy medicine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Hi, Gosh. Melissa. Gosh. Hello, Melissa. <laughs> Yo, Lil, why'd you bring all your minions over to this stream? <laughs> My, I, yo, you, yeah, I'm just, I'm just sharing the love, man. That's it. That's fact. This is about no, to be no, one no. of the most original. Thank you. They, they won't have, they, they won't know what's going on. People it's, be sneezing, dogs are barking. Yeah, it's gonna. Jalen's gonna be asking for milk. <laughs> Del, it's gonna be crazy at the Dell household over there. I cannot no wait, bro. Oh, Yo, and by the way, Jason Williams has confirmed that he is ready to come back on the show hey, there whenever. You there you go, chat. Jay will round two. I cannot wait. Don't for that. don't he like owe me a owe me something? No, I think you guys owe each other something because both of you guys, neither neither team made the finals. Oh, you guys made the Lakers no. and Nets bet. Yeah, but I feel like I would more because we went to the second round. <laughs> Yo, and oh I actually, I, I actually have some J. Will signed Kevin Durant's that I'm supposed to be giving away, but they're size 13, so I've been sitting on them all summer. But I'll get around to that give giveaway. Uh, swing them my way. I'm size 13. Go and swing them my way. Oh, okay. Bro. All right. Yo, depending on how you do me today or how I do you, I may feel sorry, <laughs> or I may pause. owe you some some KDs. Facts, facts, balls. That. Yeah, pause, Yo, that. let's <laughs> let's get into the show, man. Uh. God. All right. We're all settled in. Dell audio sounds great. Um, before it gets crazy over there, let's let's get after it, man. So welcome back or welcome if this is your first time. We got a lot of Legend of Winning fans in the building. So shout out to y'all. Welcome back to another episode of Player's Choice, the number one place for NBA hot takes and flop takes. If you are joining us now on Twitch, make sure that you are following the channel and turn those notifications on so you Get notified when we go live every Sunday and Wednesday as times may vary and you don't want to miss the action. If you're tuned in on YouTube, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to join us live, which link in the bio. So joining us today, well, first of all, shout out to Dell and Shaq. Welcome back. What's good? Welcome What's back, Dell. What, what up? You had an amazing TBT run. I didn't want to Thank start you. the show without uh, congratulating you on on a great run. You killed it. Thank it was you. fun watching. Appreciate you. that. Uh, Thanks, doing it man. again for a good cause. Um, and of course, joining us today, we have special guest. Made a hilarious reaction video uh, to Shaq not putting Kawhi in his top ten. If you have not seen that, please look it up. Legend of Winning. Uh, actually, it was on his load up youtube i think or low yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Load up. yeah yeah yep uh he bullied him into changing his opinion so of course we had to get him <laughs> on the show co-host of the peer to peer podcast please welcome Lowe's not the one to do it Lowe's not the one to <laughs> yeah hey, uh thank y'all thank y'all for having me no count you, Ooh, even man. if i'm not the one who did it i'm, I'm happy you still changed your idea you know because that would mean that i was he right definitely kick-started it for sure it was I already kick started. That's how he got it. <laughs> That's how he found the video because it was already kick started. <laughs> Yo, you good today? Yeah, I'm good, man. Okay. Can't wait to. <laughs> Your audio good? <laughs> it's not my audio. It's you guys' audio that keep being distorted. I don't know what's going on. I just oh. switched Wi Fi's. Oh, no. So, yeah, All right. I'm here now. Well, 
We'll do our best. All right, let's get into topic number one, man. I know that everyone's seen this by now, and we discussed it a little bit on the last show. Russell Westbrook to the Lakers. I'm just curious if it's going to work or not. Shaq, we already kind of heard what your thoughts on this whole thing were last week, so we'll let you tap in last after Dell and Lowe get into this. But, Dell, what do you think? Russell Westbrook to the Lakers, is this going to work out? Well, I'm not going to be Shaq in this Um I actually think it can work out because it's about stages of both of their careers. Like people that think James Harden, KD, and Kyrie would have fit so well, but it's it's all about the stage of their career. Um, I know we know what we both know. Russ is a dominant with the ball, and Bron is dominant, but it, it's all about winning. Russ knows that, Bron knows that, and eight AD just fits right in. I think it's gonna work. It's going to be fun to see Russ is back home. So uh, Russ got another chance to be like in that spotlight and um, be Russell Westbrook. And I think it, I think it should be OK. Do I do uh, are they my favorites over the Nets right now? If both teams are health, healthy, I'll say no. But I, I, I think it'll work. Good take. Yeah, I, I, I guess the, the question is, like, what is what is um what is working mean? Because, like, if we're just talking about making it to the finals that that's possible if we're talking about making it to the conference finals that's that's possible as well um but in terms of like actually winning a championship i personally don't think that this team is is fit to win a championship um mainly just because i, I look at what like what's on the roster and what's probably going to get filled up with the rest of the team um of course i don't think i have to go into too much detail so hopefully i don't that the fit itself is just a really bad fit i'll go as far as saying that the, the buddy hill trade that they had on the table probably would have been just as good mainly because it would have left them with a lot more cap flexibility um, to fill out the rest of the roster with proper, proper pieces. But personally speaking, <clears throat> I'm not too big on it to the point where I can actually even get knocked out in the second round. And it wouldn't be surprising to me at all, depending on who they match up with. But in a world where Kawhi Leonard doesn't come back a hundred percent in a world where um, the warriors don't make the pieces work in, in this upcoming off season to be, become better, there is a world where the Lakers can find themselves in the finals. However, I still don't think even with that team that they can actually win a championship because the that spacing is horrible. Russ is a, a terrible decision maker in terms of like volume decisions that he makes. Um, and the lack of the shooting efficiency is just God awful too. So no, nah, I don't, I don't think it's going to work in terms of winning a championship. I think they're a better playoff team than they're a better regular season team. The Lakers now. Yeah. The Lakers this, the, okay. this season the Lakers coming up. next year. Yes. Yeah, because I mean. Because the slow pace and I guess, of course, Russ, we know Russ is not the shooter that, like he's just not a shooter, but I feel like, um, I feel like he'll bring another dimension to a LeBron team with Anthony Davis in the playoffs. More so regular season, people are going to be here or there, whatever the case may be, but. I think Russell, I, I think it'll, when, we, when I say work, we don't know who's going to make the finals. We know they'll make the playoffs, but what team could we Dale, go? Like, other that's than a terrible take, though, that you what? think that the Lakers are going to be better in the playoffs than in the regular season. That. I was about to say the same they're, thing, too. Oh, okay. They're going to be way better in the regular season because you got okay. Westbrook that is going to be mm-hmm. navigating that second unit like no other. So he's basically an insurance policy for AD and LeBron me, for when they go gonna, down. I'm How not are they all three going to be on the court in prime time in the I'm playoffs? Gonna explain, I'm going to explain to you why I say it's better because it slows down. Like, Rajon Rondo plays better in the playoffs, and he doesn't shoot. He but can't he, shoot at all. But he shot 45% last playoffs. So what are we talking about with, with yeah, L.A.? This is, on, I'm, on, talking about was, in, I'm talking about in his prime. I'm talking about in his prime playoff Rondo type. He was never shooting like that. When it I mean, that down, was a different era, though. That was a completely different era. They weren't shooting threes like they are now when Boston won the championship. Not like today. A play, playoff Rondo didn't come out with when Boston won the chips. He came out after that. When it was after that playoff when, Rondo when, was after when Boston what, won the chips. What, okay, this what like ring? What ring did play playoff Rondo win? Not, not, not. He didn't win a ring. He was just cooking. He didn't win a okay. ring. Okay, that's easy to do. At all. And okay, to, a lot of players do that. Do. A lot of players cook in the playoffs and don't win rings. I've seen Jason Tatum do it for years. Oh my God. I'm mesmerized I by it. I love that you say years, like he's been in exactly. the league for years. Yeah, but just, just need to he has, when it's I say, four years, not years. What are we talking about? These guys aren't pups anymore. Cut it out, man. No, one, no one's calling them pups. When I'm saying I like this team, no, I don't care how it goes. I like this team when it slows down. 
I actually do. I, I like though? this Lakers. Why though? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Why do you like it? Why, wait, why, why doesn't it make any sense? Because they could slow it down, give it to Anthony Davis. <laughs> Russ could attack. LeBron could see his little space. And, and the roster's not filled out. Like but the said, spacing's just going to be, but they don't have the same cap that LeBron had in Miami when everybody took a pay cut, where they only make it 20 million. Well, you got guys well, like Kobe making 30. They're all well, maxed they're out, at, all three of them. Well, well, me reading yesterday, got they said that Rudy Gay's still interested, DeMar DeRozan's still interested, Carmelo Anthony. Yeah, still I mean, if you I, like take, Mello, yeah. I like, I like Melo on that team. I like. Mello I don't want DeMar at the so two on I, this yeah, team. I don't, I don't like DeMar really because that just like, that's like really like no not threes at all. Four guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Four yeah, guys, three. like no threes at all. But I like Melo, and I feel like I think they're gonna do a good job. Honestly, I think people's not giving them enough credit, and I'm not even a Lakers fan. I just like, I like the three of Russ. Braun and AD more so than a lot of people do because I feel they're in a different... Why do you like that three? That's what I'm, trying to, that's what I'm different... trying to figure out. Because I feel Russ is in a different mental space. He's like switch teams, switching teams. He's back home in LA. He hears what people are saying. I think well, it's easier for Russ to play. Who? Says what? No one thinks this is going to work. Who thinks... Shaq is a Lakers fan. He thinks doesn't, this isn't going to work. It's not I, used to be, work. I, I, used, I used to be a Lakers fan myself. I mean, it's not that I'm a Lakers fan, I'm a LeBron fan, and I feel like this is the worst possible fitting that you can get. I feel like the Wizards, I don't even understand the trade. I don't understand why the Wizards even do this trade. Because like, that even what they got back is but, net. And okay. I think it's better for Kyle Kuzma as well. I feel Kyle Kuzma going to play well. I agree with that. I agree with and, that. And Shaq is going to finally like, oh, why didn't he do this with LeBron? No, 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 I, no, no, no. I, I told you, I know, I told you I feel like Kuz. Well, you haven't been on the shows where I've been defending Kuz tooth and nail. And I changed my stance on Drew Holiday. <laughs> Still both <laughs> bad guys. But what Kuz did for LA was nasty. And you can't take that away no matter where he goes. What he did in a winning system was poor. You can say that, but it's not people always. It's not always his fault. Like you can look That's at the, look at look at Montrez Harold. Look where look what Montrez Harold had to succumb to this year after winning six minutes of the year. Now everybody looking no, at no, Mont- no, Montrez no, 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 wait, 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 no, no, wait, 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 no, no, no. You act like Montrez didn't average thirteen and six in twenty three minutes and was voted six in the six men of the year um, voting. So what are we talking about? You guys act <laughs> like was, Montrez was just like in bits, like he didn't play the whole season. It, I'm not sure, after the season it was games in the playoff where he was sitting on the pine for the whole game. What are we talking about here? Yeah, that's that's like, that's coach's decision. That's not Bron's decision. But it, clearly, what are we talking I mean, about here? even what are if we he is playing, I don't see this difference that everybody's like. What? Even if he does play, what they beat the Suns? If he has confidence, no, I don't play think how so. we. You no. guys are you guys are just like. But this they should have did was trying to get the that. moment. No, I know. I know they should have tried to get that uh that six seed and play Denver. That's where they messed up at it. Just dropping games, thinking it was sweet, thinking they wanted the Suns instead of instead of Denver. I would have. They would have lost to Denver. No, they would have lost to Denver too. They would have lost. They would have lost to Denver. They would have lost to Denver. So no. I feel like it, they would have had a better chance. <clears throat> possibly, but no. Especially if AD's not a hundred percent and like between Marcus Allen and AD are your best options defending. I guess Drummond there too, but Drummond would have been bad on on um, high screen and rolls with any guard. Does I Drummond know. come back? Is he still on the contract? I hope not. I hope not. No, he he's no, he's not. not. But I hope he doesn't come back though, because like that would be even worse though, because it would then provide even less less three point shooting. Another reason why I like is because you're essentially making Russ, AD, and LeBron do things that they're not that comfortable with. Anthony Davis for years has claimed that he does not want to play big. He's now going to have to play big because. You cannot put Drummond or bear even very rarely minutes of Marcus All. So he's going to have to play five. Then you're asking LeBron to do things that he very rarely, he didn't really feel comfortable doing it in Miami when he had to do it. But you're going to ask him to do more post play, more mid range looks, um, things that he's just not accustomed to. And then but you're also, you're, the, then you're also the asking though, Russ to, to do things that he's not willing to do either, or, or he's not comfortable doing at least. I don't, I just don't like the fit in any regards. Right, but the play, the stuff you're naming, LeBron Miami, that's 2014. Russ to be Russ, that's five, six years ago. LeBron to be on the block. LeBron can't be LeBron no more when he is in Miami. He can't say, oh, I can't do this like I was in Miami because you're not that Bron anymore. Things changes. Russ mental has to change, which I think is going to happen. LeBron, yo, you got to go on the block some more now. That has to change. But you got to win. You can't be the Miami LeBron. Russ can't be OKC Russ. And AD can't be the Pelicans. AD and that's where I think they could have a conversation just like like James Harden and Kyrie yo I'll go get buckets and you'll be more so 
facilitator. KD could just fit like, right in. But Dale, which one would you take? AD and LeBron with three fill-in players or LeBron and Westbrook with three fill-in players? Like solid players. I'll, I'll honestly, it's pro- it would probably be, be AD honest. and LeBron. It probably be AD and LeBron with three filling players. But for I, I, I'm not down <laughs> on the big three or this big three as much people are. I'm not because people, yeah, Dale, this you, is what you like to do, dog. And you I, do this every time when it I, comes to KD, Kyrie, and James. You always like like downplay it. Like yo, like that's a really it's a really good team. Like I don't know what you guys not, talking about. Not, so if they happen to beat him, you want KD to take all of that credit so you can DM him in the messages like good chip, bro. Everybody's giving KD. Like, that's never been me. No, that's okay. never been right. me. It's just. All right, you have to give dudes credit for what they're doing. Under, they're professionals, at least. All we, could do is, all we could do is critique them on what we've known them to do mm-hmm, in the past, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. if they listen, they know they hear stuff. Russ is mm-hmm. 31, maybe turning 32 or 30. He No, he can't be the same Russell Westbrook. He, Bron knows he's going 37, 36. He can't be the same LeBron. AD knows he got to get healthy. And honestly, AD has to be the more vocal point than the other two, for sure. <sighs> so I think that's a... like. Yo, we got all this already. We did all this. Ron, you're top three ever. AD, et cetera. Russ, you get all these triple doubles. You haven't really won in the playoffs. Let's, what could we do to make this work? And I, and they got to get rid of Frank Vogel to me. I don't like him. <laughs> well, I, I, I ain't going to lie. I, I, don't, I, like, I like Vogel on defense, but this team is going to have a lot of offensive schemes problems. And Vogel just isn't, he's not the biggest X and O guy. Right. So he's, fine in, he's fine in terms of, maybe positioning from time to time, but like actually getting players to like move, adapt and make sure like their constant ball movement A Vogel's just never been that guy, even dating back to Indiana outside of maybe some um, post touches here and there with, with D West. But I I agree in terms of they have to change. And I think that's, I think that's better set. I think it's easier said than done because of course, but the whole concept of like, like Russell Westbrook changing, like we've been saying that for years now, like, Russ needing to have a shot or Russ needing to have off ball movement or Russ being a better decision maker has been things that we've been saying for five, six, seven years now. So I guess maybe at age 32, 33, maybe he finally grasped it, but Carmelo Anthony had to go. And I'm not saying that they're on the same wavelength, but Carmelo Anthony had to go through like extreme levels of disappointments before he finally took on like a bench role. So I don't, I don't Mm -hmm. know. I don't know if Russ has hit that stage in his career where it's like the level of disappointment is so monumental that you have no other choice but to acknowledge like you're just not going to be that player, especially in the third option. But even if he does accept that role, I still don't think it's I still don't think it's enough because Russ is no, because it's not, it's not effective or impactful enough in various ways for it to actually work. That's the problem with Russ. But, but, but both of everybody got to accept the role. Like it's not just Russ. You see what I'm saying? Braun got to accept that he's older. Everyone and the thing with Russ, where he said people are hard for him to change. He's gonna to go to Washington Wizards and think I have to change. He's gonna go there with just Bradley Beal and a bunch of people we don't know. I'm you still taking Ben Simmons over Russell Westbrook. Uh, uh, I'm, I was not just, I'm not. I'm not going. I was far, just gonna say, <laughs> Static Mar in the chat says Russ or Ben Simmons. No, I just am. No, I'm I just am. If you get LeBron back up to shooting over forty percent, like in his early Miami Heat days, and you get a Ben Simmons out there flinging that thing around, pause. And I'm not, and Dale I'm not to, commenting no. on that bro, Russ and Ben Simmons at all because, like I said, Russ is another player. If Philly had Russell Westbrook instead of Ben Simmons this year, Philly would have won. They would have beat Atlanta. So I agree. I yeah, agree. yeah, yeah. But but next year though, I'm I'm talking about uh, Ben Simmons comeback tour. He's about to have the best season of his oh, um, career. God, and Dale, see, that's, to your that's, a, that's the stuff I understand. Like, what comeback? <laughs> like, how, how's your comeback? Y'all just think like in one. No, nah, because y'all hating. He's about to get a shot. In He's two about months? to do all that. In two months? In, not like it's gonna come. He hey, already got a shot. He's just gonna have the confidence to shoot it. I've never hated Ben Simmons. I've always told you he's not like that. I feel like he was the most overrated player the NBA has to offer. I've always said that. Always. No, he's before, not. Before no, he's his not. demise. He is. He's overrated his when people like you keep saying he's gonna have a mm-hmm. shot in two months. Like that's why he's overrated. No, no, no. He's already got a shot. He just has the mental issues. You know, ment- he ha- he has the mental health issues to where he can't shoot it yet. Mental health is big out here. And Dale, to your Frank Vogel comment, I couldn't believe they had him at the um, the opening of Space Jam 2. When I seen Frank Vogel in the credits, it pissed me off. <laughs> Why was he there? 
Yeah, exactly. I just seen Frank Vogel. Like, I'm like, why? How did he make the LeBron James <laughs> Space Jam 2 movie intro? It's nasty. Oh my gosh. That is hilarious. All right. Let's move it along, man. Let's get to a little start bench cut. Chat, chime in. Um, start bench cut Lakers edition. We got Kobe, LeBron, Kareem. I was talking to Shaq the other day and I was like, I feel like this is kind of easy, but let's see. Um, Jack, you want to kick it off? I can. Let's see what Lightout Sports in the chat has to say. Shout out Lightout Sports. He was on the last episode. Go download it if you haven't. It was a good episode. Um, start bench cut Lakers edition. Are we doing the okay? We don't gotta say what we're doing. When I'm looking at this, I'm starting Braun, I'm benching Kareem, and sadly I'm cutting Kobe. See, you say sadly, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like this is easy. Dell? Lakers edition, right? Yeah. I'm starting Kobe. Duh. I'm benching Braun. I'm cutting Kareem. <laughs> what's going on here? Okay. Okay. I'm like, what's going on? Okay. <laughs> um, if it's if it's Lakers edition, I'm assuming you're we're referencing to what they've done as a Laker, right? And that's why I might even cut Braun. I'm gonna say I will, I, will, that, I, will, I will cut Braun then. I will cut LeBron. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah but that's too. too easy. It's just like these are just the three Lakers players. So okay, let's if, just if go based about, off of all right, impact. Three Laker, yeah, the three Laker players in their careers and their impacts. Then I would, I would. I would so, start. so it shouldn't be Lakers edition then. You can't you have to take off Lakers edition. They're they're all Lakers players. That's why it's Lakers edition. Oh god. No. Shaq the context no. back there. Right, exactly. Not cutting. No. We're not we're not finding a way to cut LeBron. You've cut LeBron on too many of these. <laughs> we would, but if you're if, leading if you, TikTok. If, if we're talking about just simply what they've done as a Laker, LeBron would get cut. It would it would be right. that one, LeBron okay. would get cut. Right. It, it now, would be, now, now let's do things. impact. Now Kareem, let's do impact. Kobe, then the what, Lake, Lakers we, impact or NBA impact? Yeah, if we talk about Lakers impact. impact, it would still be LeBron getting cut. It would still so. be Braun. <laughs> I said NBA impact. All right, all right, NBA impact, then it would be, I would I would probably start Braun, bench Kareem, and cut Kobe. Yeah. If that was, if oh, that NBA was. impact, I'm, um, Braun impact for the league and Kobe impact, I think it's kind of like a par with each other if we just talking. So when y'all say NBA no, impact, are y'all talking, are y'all talking no, it's resumes? it's not. Nothing Kobe did is better than in, in, on impact wise on the level of LeBron, what LeBron has done. You, we're not talking like the winning, the resume, MVPs and all that. We're just talking about the, just what the impact to the NBA. We can talk about both. We can have both of them in there. Impact on and off the court, everything combined. Kobe's impact on the commercials, NBA. Commercials out Kobe's in China. impact on the NBA is as big as LeBron's. You always think that. You think everybody's impact in the NBA is big as bronze. Every time no, we I have don't. one of these discussions. No, I don't. No, I, don't. I, I think Kobe's so, is. So on impact, I'll go Kobe start. Bench Braun and start? Kareem. Uh, yes, on his impact on the NBA. No, Kobe no. Bryant impacts on the NBA. Are, what am I missing? It's here? not like it's not so his Kobe, impact is not. Kobe's Kobe's impact, impact is league. bigger than bronze. Or, or at least the same. Are you serious? It's not the same. It's always under, even if it's close. He's still under Braun. Nah, I, I'm sorry. I can't. I, I I can't outright agree with that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What like what? If, what has I don't hate like, the take. I don't hate the take. I just dislike it a lot. I just don't <laughs> feel like it's. <laughs> wait, wait, what impact has Braun brought to the league that Kobe hasn't? Kobe is not in Space Jam Two. Braun is. I can just end it with that. Kobe had ample oh, opportunity. Man. Don't act like Kobe. Don't act like Kobe declined it. No, hold they on, were, hold on, hold on. Uh, they were looking not, for not a, a suitor. Not a, not they were a looking for a suitor. They were looking for a suitor for years. If there was no LeBron, who would be in Space Jam Two? This is just simple. Yeah. This is just simple. Yeah. This is simple. There's no. So who way. else is qualified? You're at, you're who else like is Space qualified? Jam two won an oh, Oscar like Kobe did. That's no, no, no. Is that you act? You act like Space Jam One did. No, I'm not. I'm talk? not saying that. You're, are, you brought up so, Space Jam, not me. So who's more qualified to be in Space Jam 2 than LeBron James? That it, the people in the chat saying that's not impact. How was that not impact? Shut they that. picked the no. best player from every era to be in Space Jam. These are no, facts. they don't pick the best player. They didn't pick Jordan the best just player. did a movie that, Jordan did a movie that became good. Jordan wasn't like, the... Oh, we could do 
Listen, wait, wait, wait. Not, you're acting like they're like seven Space Jam movies, only two. <laughs> yeah, 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 because only two suited, hey, only two could fill those shoes. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So, Even, okay, okay, so who shoes, who, shoes did, who shoes did Jordan fill? His he own, created them. In LeBron, he, he created them. He created that narrative. That's why they came to him and was like, hey, you want to do a movie with cartoons? And it hit. No, it hit, hit. Right. OD. But now, nah, y'all, you, I can't, you, you I, Dak, there's no way you just. I can't, I can't go with the Looney Tunes. <laughs> no. That, that's hey, a, the that's Looney right. Tunes. What's bigger the, than the, the Looney Tunes? Yeah, the Looney Nobody can be with the Looney Tunes. That's a, that's a crazy take. Start talking Looney about Tunes impact on the NBA, and he brings up yo, Space Jam. Yo, so because he's talking about impact on and off the court, correct? No, you said impact on the NBA. It's weird to me that people are really thinking Kobe's impact was it like. Kobe's Braun was a Kobe fan. Like these, like this is Kobe's manifested the league. Braun took it over, but y'all, I'm not ever sitting here. Kobe's impact on the Dude, league this, was oh what? But this is the thing. Kobe? I said impact on and off the court, and you kept it to on the court. But if we're talking about impact on and off the court, we can bring up Space Jam too. What are we talking about right now? <laughs> Like what? No, no, we can't. Of course, Space Jam doesn't have any impact on the NBA. Yo, it's just morons in the chat. Yo, Lo, get your minions. <laughs> Yo, no, get your minions. <laughs> Yo, you know what's trying crazy? to figure out? Like... They're trying to figure out how this moron got on the show. Shaq, they, they you. Try, they, they're trying to they're trying to figure out how is it that a, a, a Bugs Bunny cameo means anything in the conversation. No, no, no. That's huge for impact off the court. That's oh, huge because not, what is Kobe's? That's like so. What is Kobe's impact off the court? That's what I'm waiting to hear. He's, That's he's, bigger he's, than LeBron's. His influence overseas, I would say, I would argue. Well, I, I'm not, let me be clear. I'm not saying that it's bigger, but I'm saying that influence overseas would probably- In China. Be, yeah, well, that would definitely be the first conversation I would go to, not, you know. Yo. You know, not not, not a bunch wait, of bunny cans. Ty, no, Ty I, the I Don says, wanna... every time you shoot a paper ball into the trash can, what do you yell? <laughs> Okay, that's that's, that's also, played that's out. We get wild. it. That's also wild. We we get it. like that's that's, that's who started that. So who? We, 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 if we if we talk about to Steph, if we talk about simply Laker edition, LeBron will get cut because LeBron has done the least on this on this. Yo, order. Shaq. So since you want to bring up Looney Tunes, could I bring up Ray Allen's T God game? No, that wasn't big in the space, Jim. What are we talking about? And that kind of gave Ray Allen more relevancy than he deserves. But that's a conversation for another day. Oh my land. Oh my god. All right, yeah, I love Ray crazy. Allen. I think he got game is better than Space Jam too. I'm about to say <laughs> the same thing to I, I, for yeah. sure. Oh, whoa, whoa, the storyline. Okay. Hold on. Dead ass. All right, the storyline for sure. We're put. We're pushing. <laughs> Yo, Dale. By the way, my <laughs> okay. Dale, over over last week, my son seen Space Jam one and Space Jam two. He was like, I want to watch Space Jam one, and I was like, again. He was like, No, I never seen it. We we for sure seen it. So he watches both of them, and he 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 chose Space Jam two, and I knew he would. But he said Space Jam was an awesome movie. He loved both of them. He tried to pick both. I said, No, you got to pick one. He picked Space Jam two. Let's go. I think Space He's Jam two is great. Hey, <laughs> baby Bozo. <laughs> So. Of course, it's my son. <laughs> <laughs> he will follow up in my bozo footsteps. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> Yo, Kevin, I don't know if you guys saw this, but yesterday Kevin Love tweeted, <laughs> love my brothers. And he only asked uh, LeBron, J.R. Smith, uh, Tristan Thompson, Channing Fry, Richard Jefferson, leaves Kyrie off the list. Um, is this just a simple mistake or is this coordinated low did you see this i'm curious to hear your thoughts i didn't see it until uh, y'all brought it to my attention I don't, I don't really follow kevin love on twitter but um i don't know i it's it's i personally believe it's definitely coordinated i don't i, I would argue and assume that the relationship that Kyrie has with the rest of them is a bit different than the, the you know relationship that everyone else has who decided to stay on the team and not like you know bail so I I understand why I would understand why he was saying I still feel like you know you won the championship with them he made one of the biggest shots in NBA history I mean quite frankly he definitely saved your career Kevin Love because Love's career was like going down a, the the drain at that point um, so I, I I personally feel like he still should have said it but seeing how certain NBA players act you know you know Paul Pierce and them still ain't been the same after Ray Allen left them and I, right. I'm pretty sure there's some you know some some um bitterness between Kevin Love, Tristan Thompson, LeBron, and the rest of them with what Kyrie Irving did because he essentially forced his way out of there and they got nothing really in return for him. Mm. Jack. Um everybody hates Kyrie. It's the cool thing to do. Um 
And I can see why Kyrie and K-Love wouldn't get along just on face value, just because I feel like they're two total opposites for the way they interact with the media. Um, so did he do it on purpose? Absolutely. And LeBron and, and LeBron replied back to it. And so it's been some behind the scene conversations or text messages or group texts that they've had. And they all agree they hate Kyrie. <laughs> yeah. And if you didn't see the response, LeBron tweeted back. I think he quote tweeted it. He with quote a, tweeted, yeah. yeah, like a peaky with the peaky blinder. blinders. Yeah. It's either yeah. us or them. And I choose us. Love you, champ. This bumping heart crown emoji. Uh, <laughs> Dell, did you see this? <laughs> No, I didn't see it, but is is it just a tweet or is it like a picture of those players in so the K, tweet? He K, added them. Yeah, Caleb put out, out of a nowhere tweet he just, just tweeted this out. Out of nowhere out he of just nowhere. tweets yeah. it and he only adds them. There's no picture, it's just their their Twitter <laughs> handles. And then LeBron quote tweeted it saying that with like some gif of peaky blinders. Oh, okay. Well, May, honestly, I don't think him and Kyrie had problems, but maybe Kyrie wasn't as close to him as he was with them, as dumb people. I'm not. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. I, I'm being yo, honest, though, it's twelve people on the team. You're not forgetting Kyrie, like you're just <laughs> no, not. I'm not forgetting, but but you okay? You're on the team. You're closer to probably the twelfth man on the roster than you are starting five. That's that's all I'm saying. I if don't he still include him in front of millions. Yeah. No, did he tweet the whole team? No, but he I mean, said tweeted. No, but he tweeted the more important players. Right. I mean, LeBron, J.R. Smith, Tristan Thompson, Channing Fry, R.J. So I mean, technically speaking, he like, didn't... Sh- like, like Shannon Fry and R.J. is like those are probably <laughs> like a personal level. But I, like, yeah, I think yeah, I think I think especially Channing Fry, from my understanding, both of right. them have like a mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. he, he mm-hmm. ain't like think about it. Is no Iman Shepard there? Who else started on that squad? So you're telling me K. Love and J.R. Smith were best friends? I don't know. I don't know, no, and especially I, if the argument is like like the way that love the way that love and Kyrie handles things is vastly different. I'm pretty no, sure I, the way that right. J.R. Smith and Kevin Love handle things is also like <laughs> ordinarily different. No, too. but you see, I'm not gonna come to assume that is. Oh, they just I just feel like yo, K. Love and Kyrie wasn't that close, which is fine. Like if I tweet. <laughs> I could tweet about any teams I play on a couple of players and don't tweet somebody that's a, a starter. And I'll be like, oh, no, nah, I was closer with this guy. Like, that's just, it is what it is. Here's what I'll say. I think I agree with Dell. And I think LeBron took Yo, it to Jordan, the next level. Listen, he missed listen, the Shaq. Shot. <laughs> listen, Shaq. I think LeBron took it to the next level with the quote tweet with a little shade. I agree with that, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. So and that's why K Love could have completely innocently. K Love says some shit. Yeah. K Love says some shit about out there. Yep. Those mm-hmm. were the guys okay. that he loved the most on that team. He was closest mm-hmm. with, like Dell's saying. And then LeBron <laughs> takes it to the next level, throwing shit. He's been with Kyrie like that. That's all. But but LeBron LeBron <laughs> has been LeBron. Well, for, I think LeBron probably feels like Kyrie was throwing shade in him in the beginning of the season when he was saying like, "Yo, I, I finally got somebody on my for side." For sure, he was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I think I think LeBron is still. You know he he king petty, so I think he's like holding off some stuff like yeah, like I'm all right. That's how you feel. Like I, I saw what happened with with KD. He shot zero for six in overtime, so you didn't say nothing about that. So let's just bring up a, like how we won a championship and y'all and you still haven't done one without me. So I, I I feel like that's like the LeBron thing, but I do just personally believe that there's a good possibility that like the way that things ended, the way that things ended in Cleveland doesn't like put the greatest taste in their mouth on how Ky- Kyrie kind of dealt with things because he forced his way out of there. Mm. Like, they just call it spade a spade. He does exactly what he did. Uh, it's crazy that Kevin Love is <laughs> so prominent in the media this week. Uh, <laughs> we got another <laughs> Kevin Love headline here. Jerry Colangelo. No, this is a Jerry Colangelo Kevin, headline. Yeah, ripping Kevin Love after his Olympic exit, saying he wasn't in shape um, and he was behind. Um, so... He's pretty much blaming Kevin Love's, uh, I guess, how in shape he was for his exit. Um, I'll just read this tweet from him. I didn't think Kevin Love was going to play. I wasn't even sure he had much left to play. He reached out to us, said he was in shape, and said he felt he owed us. And on the basis of that, we're looking at someone with international experience who at one time was a heck of a rebounder and could still shoot the ball, you know, being like a 12th man on a roster. Well, it didn't work out. He wasn't in shape, and he was way behind as it turns out. So you move on, call it a mistake, call it giving someone an opportunity, someone who had equity with us. Dell, 
thoughts on maybe Colangelo throwing Caleb under the bus? <laughs> I can't tell what's going on with Dell. Yeah. Um, it's pretty damn sad. Can you hear me? Yeah, Hello? your your audio was just tripping for a second, but I think you're good now. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's what it is. Man. Yeah, you're Can you good. hear me better now? Yeah, you're good. Uh, yeah, uh, it's kind of sad with Jerry, man. Like, <laughs> like why? Dude, some, like Kevin Love said, he was he came out, said he wasn't ready. He thought he was whatever the case may be. But to, like, he just literally just threw him under the whole bus. Like, he had acting <laughs> with us. He called us. We didn't call him. Uh, That's was, so it, tough. It's basically like, yeah, we wasn't even thinking about him. He hit us up like, yo. <laughs> and it's and it's weird too. It just shows. Like I remember, what year was it? After Melo played with the Rockets, Melo came out and said, "I would, I would uh, want to still play with Team USA." Like he he basically did what he just said. Um, Kevin Love did. Now he's talking about, oh, he had equity and all that. Melo had equity too, and y'all dubbed him real quick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, was that, oh, no, nah, we don't need Melo. And I feel Melo here right now. Melo could have played on that team and, and, and spot and whatever you wanted for love, I think. So it just shows how this thing, black and white, how stuff of you, because it's, it's no way you could say, oh, yeah, he had equity with us. That's why you gave him a chance. And then you just on a team like this where it's really no, like, no anything, like, it's just a it's just a weird team. But Calangelo, he's a bozo. He's always been a bozo. And um it was sad though. Reading that is like OD is like just sad. Like what are you, what are your reasons for throwing a play out when he said, Oh yeah, he's he backed out on his own and yeah, I'm not ready, I'm not whatever. Like all you had to say was there, Caleb wasn't ready, he said it. Um hopefully he get healthy and get back to to something. And that's it. But he went crazy. He went crazy. And I, that's why I like when players go crazy on like the front office and stuff and media because they really think they could do what they want in terms of trade and do anything they really want in all of this. And then when somebody talks back on them, it's like, oh, they're the victim, mm-hmm. Angelo. That was sad, <laughs> man. Low thoughts. Um, I mean, he is a Colangelo, so this is, they, <laughs> this is what they do, no cap. I mean, they that that whole family has like a history of like just ridiculous things they say behind the scenes. So to me, that's not that's not like really that's not really that's not really surprising to me. I'll just say that. I think that what's what is surprising, and I know like we don't want to put too much like credence on K Love, and um, I just I don't know. I personally feel like I'm I'm kind of confused to why Love went out of his way to try to be on Team USA because I don't think that. I just don't think as a fit wise, I don't think it was probably the, the best thing. I know he had the experience, but I don't know why not just go with Carmelo, like he said before. Uh, so I, that that does kind of intrigue me a bit. But in terms of like this situation, yeah, like uh, that's a Colangelo. A Colangelo going to do what Colangelo do. You know, they're they going to sit there, throw people underneath the bus. His son threw his, his damn wife under the bus when he got caught with the whole Philly thing. So that's just that's just what they do, dog. Like, they, ain't, they ain't really surprising me at all. And um in terms, but also in terms of Kevin Love, it is kind of interesting to see like how his whole career is kind of developing right now because like we're not at a point where it's alleged that he's not even in shape or prepared to play for Team USA, and he's not even receiving any major minutes. Like the way that his career arc is is going is is interesting, but you know, it's 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 the Colangelo doing Colangelo things. No cap. Shaq. Um, I'll just retweet what Dale said about the white privilege on how. Um, K Love is just all of a sudden has all this equity, but when Carmelo came out and had all that equity, um, it wasn't applied the same way. So I just wanted to note that. That's all I have to say about that topic. Heard you. Uh, all right, let's rank these these power forwards, man. Um, this is what I came here for. <laughs> this I know for a fact it's gonna start a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it, sh- it shouldn't technically. <laughs> It usually does. Um, yeah, it does. Ranking these power forwards, we got KG, Kevin Garnett, Armalone, the GOAT, Dirk Nowitzki, Giannis, <laughs> Tim Duncan, Charles Barkley. I want to start with, do we do we let the, the special guest go first or last on this one, Shaq? I'm going to leave this we one have, to you. We have we have, um, Giannis as a four, not a three no more. 
Come on, Dale. Don't start this. When has Giannis ever been a three in his life? He started at the three most of his NBA career. Okay. And, and Paul George is also, but never mind. We're not going to get into that right now. <laughs> he started three. After. <clears throat> Yo, so you're yeah. trying to tell me when we're ranking him right now, why would he be a three? He started at three his whole, most of his whole career as a small forward. So whatever they come into the league as, <laughs> that's what we keep the mass. That's always been your logic, correct? No. Paul that, George is a also three, a three. A, a three is Paul George's natural, natural position. That's a fact. The small four for sure. That's a known fact, Shaq. All right. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, even even if you <clears throat> even if you made the argument that he's gonna spend more most of his he started most of his career as a, as a small forward, but in his career he's gonna spend most of his career as a power forward. So like this is the the conversation we're gonna have to have. No, he's he's talking about Paul George right now. Like Paul George is uh, a national a natural small forward. That's and he hates that. He thinks he's a two guard because he's Paul been playing two, two. Because he's been playing two with on any team. I'm putting Paul George at the two. No, but he, but, but Paul George, to his credit, Paul George did start his career as a two as well. He started his two next to Danny Granger. And, and Dell, with his logic, he should always <laughs> remain a two. Paul George didn't start on that team. But I'm saying he started his career off as a two. He did start his career. He was two. backing up Danny Granger at the three. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> what, what just, our fine. It's just semantics. Semantics. The, the, it, no, it's no semantics. He was backing up Danny Granger as a three. Danny Granger got hurt. That boo that put Paul George in the mortar spotlight, and then it became Paul George. Danny Granger came back in the playoff run. Then he was backing up Paul George at the three, and they, of course, they would play together. But that's what happened. That's just. In his second so year, in it, wait, wait, I just, I just gotta, I had to, I had to just say this. In his second year in the NBA, when Paul George started all sixty-six games, and then get Danny Granger started sixty-two games, what was Danny Granger playing, and what was Paul George playing? Just tell, read the starting lineup, and I'll tell you. I mean, come on, dog. We no, 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 let's not do it. Just <laughs> read the starting lineup. All right, all right. Darren Collinson was also starting. Roy Hibbert mm -hmm. and David West was starting. So who was his two guard and who was the three? <laughs> Who Dale, was this, it? This, this, <laughs> no, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? I just said no, it. Dale. The starting lineup what? was was Darren Collinson. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just I'll just read them randomly. The here's are the starting five randomly: <laughs> Darren mm -hmm. Collinson, Roy Hibbert, uh, Danny Granger, David West, Paul George. What Who's year this? is this? 2012, sophomore season. Second. Bro, come yeah, on! You know second. what it is. You know no, what I it don't is. know what it is. So what I you you wait? What all right, so you no think, on that lineup for sure, Paul George the two. That, okay, so that's Paul the George point. Two. That's that's the only point I made. No, but you can't make that point because that's not his natural position. Still, that's not his natural position. You're, I, you're saying not, that to I'm not, I'm not. I'm not necessarily disagreeing. With you. I'm just saying when he started, you made it seem like when he I'm started, disagreeing. <laughs> when you when uh, when he you sat there and said when he started. He wasn't starting next to Danny Granger. He was backing no. up Danny Granger. No, there's a year when he, he was starting, and Danny Granger was also starting, and they both played six. And Danny was games, cooking. And Danny Granger was still cooking, and Paul George was a two. That's the only point I'm making. He was a two at that situation. So, I, I, I could never see Paul George as a two, even if he started there, but I get it. I get <laughs> He's it. a two right I now. I can't. I, and I still don't see him as a two. I just don't. Shaq. Yeah, low-key, he kind of is a two right now. No cap. Shaq. He, no, he is. I still don't see it. Jack, any team he goes to, he's going to be a two. Imagine putting a guard smaller than Paul George and trying to win a championship. Paul George is your three man, and you're trying to win a championship with a guard smaller than him. Knock it out. Like, come on, Chris they Middleton. Lost come in the on. They, they lost in the if, Eastern They lost in the Eastern Conference. If Chris, if Chris Middleton they... and Paul George are on the same team, Chris Middleton is the three, and Paul George is the two. What? Why? What? Yeah, I don't why? think so. Yeah, I'm just why? letting you know. Why? I'm just letting why? you know. Why, I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. Why, why not? I don't think so. I don't. I don't care either way. But why? Why is he has to be the two in the, the two in the <laughs> Paul George is in a three. Shaq is just throwing mud at the wall and seeing what sticks. All right, are you ready, Shaq? I want you to rank these these power forwards: Kevin Garnett, Karl Malone, Dirk Nowitzki, Giannis, <laughs> Tim Duncan, <laughs> Charles. Brown. All right. Um, I feel like unanimously we all got to go. Ooh, this is a tough one. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, who real fast? I'm going to go Timmy and Carl. That's one, two, interchangeable. No, it's not, bro. It's not, bro. It's and then I'm going to go KG. 
it's not Giannis a- Dirk Charles. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm on a that. casual shirt. I can't believe <laughs> yeah. No, I do it's too. Not. You said low low how is that bad low kg is one you said you said how was that who's one i said carl's one or two carl's one or two Uh kg Giannis, dirk and barkley but i'll go barkley dirk no where's you said duncan yeah he said yeah yeah. duncan 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 malone Malone okay okay you said kg malone and barkley and dirk are five and six in there you can swap them i'm not mad at that that's crazy all right, so the, who are you putting one, Dirk over Jordan? One, He's the, number one. one. No, Dirk is not number one. <laughs> Jesus, y'all are just all over the place. The first, the first one unanimously, and it's not interchangeable. It's not debatable. It should just be universally known that Tim Duncan <laughs> is the greatest and best power forward of all time. So there's that. Let's get that the out of the way. Second and third, I can I can hear the debate between um, KG and Dirk. Wow. Now I have no problem with that. And then fourth, I have Giannis. Fifth, I have Malone. <laughs> fifth, I have Malone. And then Wait, low, six, like low. Let me six, talk to you real fast. I have Charles Barkley. That's that will be that will be the the place. I know, I know Malone's nasty. Like we, we all know that Carl's not a stand up guy. If I, could, if, I, if I if I could, I'll, I, if I could, I'll put him thirteenth overall. But I can't. Right the, now, so I okay, can't. okay. We got to separate Carl from his off the court antics, which we both know is nasty. But come on now, we're putting Carl fifth. Why am I putting Carl higher than that? Tell me right now. Because he what? What is he number three in scoring of all time? Number two? What? What is he? Got to be mm-hmm. three. Number okay. three. Come on, he was a bucket. Like he was automatic from the mid. You remember everything about Carl Malone? He all was a these, certified bucket. All of these players are buckets. Carmelo just not, did not, it longer, longer than everybody, but every everybody on here can give you 25 to 30. Everybody on here. Maybe so, outside of wait, Duncan. Uh, Duncan can't okay, give you 30. Yeah, Duncan. Dale, give me, give me. Dale, give, give me your every, give me your top six. This is nasty. Oh I have the exact same list as Lowe. Thank you. Thank you. Dang. Thank you. Thank Carl Malone, Carl Malone in the you. trash can. <laughs> How how is he in the trash can? Why 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 is why why are we saying Malone is in the and, trash and can? And if I switch Carl, why? it will only be with Charles Barkley. That's thank it. you, Just thank to... you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> why why would Malone be any higher? Explain to me. He has longevity. That's great. All of them, all of them can give you twenty five points. All of them can give you nine plus rebounds. Some of which some of these players play better defense than Malone. Most of which have better. Playoff success than Malone. No, no, no. But but, but no, we, no, 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 no. Like, what are we saying? No, 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 no. This is a team sport, so let's just forget about the accolades. I know that's a part of basketball, but for this argument, when we're talking about game talent and impact on a game, the only reason Carl Malone doesn't have any championships is because of one man, arguably no, the greatest of all time. Stop, please stop. Right. I hate that argument. That's a dumb all argument. Right. It's not. It's not because if MJ no. wasn't there, he's winning championships. No, no, we no, know no. this. No, 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 it's not. No. Oh, you got here's your it, minions. It, okay, no, no, I see here, now. No, no, no. Here's the reality. I see. Oh, I what, see. Is, what is what is what is what is one of the biggest pros of Carmelo? His longevity, correct? That's of who? Biggest, of Carmelo. Oh, I thought you. I thought no, you no. said Carmelo. No, no, like, no, no, no. Car, no, 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 no. Carmelo. Carmelo. One of the biggest positives of Carmelo is his longevity. And so he was a bucket, but that's a let, huge. And that's, and that's fair. And I'm not. I'm not knocking it. But let's not then say he, one of his biggest positives is longevity, and then just cut his entire postseason success or lack thereof to just two seasons. Carmelo with John Stockton, who's also a top fifty player of all time, has more first round exits than conference finals appearances. Mm-hmm, Carmelo mm-hmm. has a losing record in the playoffs. Please mm-hmm, stop mm-hmm. telling me that the only reason why he doesn't have that, why does why does that why does that matter? Okay, then okay, let's let's include all of MJ's career and stop acting like he only played six seasons. And then we can start making these same type of arguments. Let's stretch out everybody's career when they weren't making playoffs or were making playoffs. Why does that matter? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why does that matter that he we can talk about because, 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 okay, all right. And it's still very because, impressive. Malone is getting knocked out in the first round with Mark Eaton on his team, defense player of the year recipient, John Stockton on his team. He got <sighs> third third options that are giving him 18 plus he's a, points. He has a bench. valid points. He, ha- he points. has a he this has a about- coach. He has a coach that's putting him in a system that best utilizes his skill set. What are we talking about? 
and he's still getting he's a, knocked out in the first round. So what are we saying? Yo, so he's saying Carl Malone head to head with Hakeem got destroyed. This is what this is what they're saying in the chats. Hakeem was well, an animal. Let's not. Carl, I'm, not I'm not saying that. I'm not saying it. But Carl Malone also got matched up head to head with the Warriors before they were the TMC Warriors, and he still got destroyed in the first round. So we're putting so we're putting Carl Malone fifth, correct? Fifth, or fifth, sixth. or or sixth, depending on how you want to view it. You know, he said six. I said fifth, but and fifth. where's Giannis at? Bro, Giannis is above them. <laughs> Come on. Dog. Uh, uh, okay, no, 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 no. I'm asking. He's right. He's right. I yeah. have him right ahead of Carmelo. He's fourth, right? Fourth, fourth. Giannis can swindle into third. He can he swindle can. into he third. Can. Yeah, he can yeah. There. yeah, for sure. Giannis, Giannis, who already putting up dominant numbers like everybody else on here, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. both mm -hmm. points, rebounds, um, probably the third best facilitator on his team behind Barkley and maybe how you feel about Duncan, but second or third. And then defensively, he's probably the second or third best defender on this list as well. And he has all the, the impact. He's done it on teams that, quite frankly, I don't think are up par with some of the other players on his roster. And he's winning. So I don't understand what would be the argument to why Giannis wouldn't be ahead of Barkley. I, no, I'm, I'm the biggest Giannis fan. I just wanted to see, because usually <laughs> Dale isn't, but all of a sudden Giannis is this, is this juggernaut player now no, against these other this, players. Uh, on this list, Giannis is for sure third or fourth. I'm, I just think Dirk, I like Dirk Chip will always be one of the hardest chips ever. No, 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 so. because this is what Fire does in the chat. All you guys try to do is base everything off of uh, Barkley's playoff stats are better than Malone's, learn basketball. Wait, who said that the, the playoff perimeter, how is that the end all be all to every argument? <clears throat> you guys pick and choose season if they're killing in the season i'm gonna use their seasonal stats playoffs if they're killing in the playoffs i'm gonna use those stats nba summer league i'm gonna use those like what are, college, <laughs> what are we talking league? about no no, no like, one you just can't that, choose Shaq. one he literally just said barkley's playoff stats are better than malone's learn basketball Shaq. how did he but, what but, do you mean well he could say the stats but the long learn basketball was that was, he, he's emotional he probably knows Carl Malone. <laughs> he's emotional <laughs> <laughs> That was a little bit more. No, he knows Low. This is one of Low's moderators oh coming in here from my ass and me. <laughs> Thank you, Low. <laughs> well, so why, Shock? why, why is, Shock. why is, why is Carl Malone high enough to where he can go number one? Because yeah, right, right. Uh -huh. That's what you that, should that answer. That to right. me is that. Right. That, that, that to me mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. even more blasphemous. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I feel like I feel like automatic. If we're talking about automatic score, he's the best automatic score on this list. Yo, what like automatic. Do, Yo, what did that do though? No, I'm just oh, like, no, I, know, I mean, Shaq. who, I don't know. who, who, let's just talk best Dirk, automatic I, score on this list. Forget stats, think, forget what did it do, automatic score. I think Dirk. Was he Dirk say, automatic? He said, he said, what? what? Shaq? <laughs> Shaq. No, no, no. Remove stop, your, stop, stop, turn stop, your stop, camera stop. off right now, Shaq. Stop, all stop. NBA players are automatic. Like all superstars are automatic. So but I'm saying, saying like, no. He's not more automatic than Carl Malone. Stop, bro. Shaq. Is he? Shaq. You are no, no Dale. Throw up. Dale. Oh, you guys just hate Carl Malone. I see what this is. Okay. All right. I don't I like he's a, he's a sleaze bag to me as well. We're not talking about anything that he did off the court. Dirk is the best automatic. Okay, let, hey, if AD was on this list, where would you put him? Where are the moderators and why do we never have a poll hey, on stuff like this? That was my That's what I'm question. trying to figure why, out. Why isn't Anthony Davis on this list? We just did, went to exclude him? Uh, because I think he can be qualified as a a, a combo big. Is that what we call him these days? A four or five? Uh, he wants up, to be a four. Y'all make up positions at this point. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, like a combo big. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. If, even, wait, if on wait, this, even if he was on wait, this wait, list. Anthony Davis is not a power forward? He's a power forward. Yes, he is. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So if he's on this list, where's it? Let me guess. Anthony Davis is just shot to the top over Malone as well. No, I, I, would, I would have AD at, at the bottom. I would have him, have him at the worst. I would have Anthony Davis over Malone and Charles Barkley. No, I can't. For a fact. That. I can't do that. I can't For a fact. I can't do that. And a healthy Anthony Davis, a healthy Anthony, nasty. listen, a healthy <laughs> Anthony Davis, I'm taking him over maybe everyone on this list except KG and Tim Duncan. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, I, I'm with fire that, now. I'm that, with, but, but that's the problem. He's not healthy. That's the problem. He's very rarely healthy. That's the problem. I'm with fire. I'm with um fires uh, uh Lowe's mod fire. He says set the criteria. I think <laughs> oh, that's important God. every time we talk. We got in us not having any mods today is nasty. Whoever um low buckets TV. Sorry about that. 
<laughs> Low, Lowe's moderator fire. Uh, <laughs> hey, yo, moving. If we, if we, if we, if we set, uh, before we go, if we set the criteria, I still don't think Malone, there's just no way. If you're arguing that Malone is borderline number one because he's an automatic bucket getter, that's, that's, that's so wild. No, that was part of the argument. That was part of the argument. We always can talk about, I mean, Malone at one or two, I said interchangeable. That means Timmy it's one, it's Malone not, two, KG three, Giannis four, <laughs> Dirk, Charles Dirk? five, Dirk last. I, I I I really don't see the love that y'all have for Dirk, and it's, it has nothing to do with racism. It's Jordan. <laughs> like to say. Oh my god! I, every time I say something about Dirk or Luca or Mark Cuban, I'm all of a sudden a racist. <laughs> I love them all, to be honest. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, <laughs> moving along. Holy moly. Uh, CP3, I don't know that anything's finalized, but there's been some speculation here that he potentially could plan on signing, like, a three-year deal with the Suns. Um, what would this do for the landscape of the NBA if CP3 stays in Phoenix? <laughs> Shaq, go ahead. I don't have nothing to say about this. CP3 is nasty. When Dale once said that LeBron was all about the money, he meant to say Chris Paul is all about the money. I've never seen somebody just say, I'm going to collect as much money as humanly possible in a league and whatever happens, happens. And that's what Chris Paul has been giving us his entire career. When this, when I, when I saw this and I sent this over to, um, our group chat and I said <laughs> I immediately thought I said so CP3 is just giving up on <laughs> trying to win rings at this point uh Lo what are your thoughts I ain't gonna hold you 44 million dollars might be enough for me to start giving up too <laughs> <laughs> yo 40 44 mil is that's a, that's a lot of money and but it, it all, especially fair. because if we're being honest with ourselves like what team is he going to go to that's going to make it realistic for him to win Exactly. Like the, the, exactly. The Lakers, exactly. The, the Lakers in the seat. See, me, you know, me and Dell, we on the same, we on the same page right now. Same wavelength. Because like, if the, if the Lakers just got Westbrook, like, so then that's off the table because that, that would, negated that. Yeah, that that would. You can't that. go back to the Clippers. You can't go he, back to the Clippers. That that would be wild if he if he went back to the Clippers. That would be crazy. But realistically speaking, that's probably the best team for him to actually win. But even if, even if he does go to the Clippers, um, then I'm, I'm assuming Kawhi would have to decline his option just so they can free up cap to bring him on and then he would have to take a huge pay cut and then they just add Kawhi back on top I'm assuming that's how they would have to do it um but that would mm. literally be the only team and so unless he's willing to go back to the Clippers I don't know if that's going to work and also I don't even know how solidified that is just because we don't know what Kawhi is going to look like after if, if he's rushing back or not so I don't think there's enough options out there to begin with and so if i'm yeah we know Kawhi don't rush but yeah where's cp gonna go after the rush that came i'm like oh damn uh cp's going back to his sons because there's nowhere else he could go oh had better try and run it back seasonal with the squad that you went to the finals with it ain't like where else it, it going to new york is a pipe dream is just for the media it's just for the allure but it ain't for like try to come out the east because the knicks is not going to come out the east so <laughs> Might as well run it back, losing the second round like he's supposed to this year with the Suns and, and be about it. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. That is a fact. Don't do what? Don't do that. Don't, don't do, do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Y'all were saying the same thing about CP3. And I sat here in this, well, not this chair. I was in a different chair. And I said, yo, nobody wants to see CP3 in the playoffs. Nobody wants to see that. And I was right. He made it all the way to the finals. Granted, there was some, but I feel like the same thing. Yo, injury is a part of basketball. Let's just keep it a buck. Is, Injuries though. are a part of basketball. Kawhi's out. So who he got to look out for? The Jazz, the Lakers. Like, man, come on, man. Let's all, let's also be clear. I mean, he going to Bank of America. That's where he's going to. Because he's about to go get <laughs> that check. He about to get that 44 <laughs> mil and then wrap it up. But it's they are that, that team is a second round exit if everyone is healthy. Now, will everyone right. be healthy? I don't know because we'll know again, we right. don't know what the Clippers situation. And so they're actually technically speaking. If I was CP3, this is probably still one of the better situations for me to win or at least go to the finals again anyway. Because if, right. if Kawhi isn't healthy, really the only thing that I would be concerned about is a Lakers team that just added Westbrook. And I might be able to convince myself, especially with AD being injury prone, that I might be able to get another get off another finals appearance this year anyway. So him staying you in got Phoenix. Utah. You, no, no, not, not with Rudy Gobert. No, no, no. Um, 
that 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 team that team is actually I actually think that I actually think that team is fine. I think I think what he's doing is fine. You know, someone, someone like said Woody? someone said the Mavs is an option if he wants to win. There's no way Luka Doncic no, no, and no. CP3 could play together. That's so nasty. CP3 Luka with any sitter? superstar. There's no way. Yeah, that's nasty. Especially Wait, why can't they why, why can't they play together though? There's because no way superstar. because Luka Doncic has to has Dominate to facilitate the, the offense. Everybody keeps typing Golden State Warriors, Golden State Warriors, Golden State Warriors. No, I wouldn't do that either. I, I don't, again, I don't even know if that makes the Warriors significantly enough better for CP3 to take the pay cut. That, that, that no, they're it. talking about CP3, that the Warriors are basically coming out the West. That's what everybody in the chat is saying. Yeah, but then we don't, with the roster they, they have constructed now, I don't, I'm, they have to start trading some pieces before I'm convinced of them doing that. Because I don't know if they're going to do that or not. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> They could <laughs> listen, guys. Let's not bring up Golden State Warrior without Kevin Durant. I don't want to talk about him. It's a nasty team. It's a sick situation, and we can just move along. How? Wow. That's very. That's very untrue. Clay Thompson, ninety-five percent, and with them Warrior boys, they are they are right there. Okay, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. All right, you're right. Leave that you're right. alone. We're gonna see. Shaq, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Shaq, with the current roster. Uh, Warriors no, roster, no, Warriors no, 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 they're not sons. going to the finals. The, the, they won 73 games with Harrison Barnes. The, the, fact, the, fact that I, the fact that I have to do this and think about it, don't try to act like they didn't have a crazy rest of the roster. So who's their Andre that is, Iguodala, that is, that, is, that is true. That's true. That, that, like, they, what had, you, they, had, they were eight they deep easy. They, they were had, right now. Okay, they, so their whole other roster was um, 73 wins. Name that roster that was so crazy that made him go seventy three and nine, and it wasn't because of them two nice. Like, hold on, hold on, okay. hold on. They're saying that they're saying the audio. What about the audio? I don't know. Somebody's typing audio in the chat. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know what he's talking about. No, it's the same fire guy. No, he said audio okay. is fine. Keep going. I, okay. I, 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 I understand. I understand what I understand what he's saying in terms of the team isn't deep enough. That that's sure. That's why again I keep saying like. It depends on what they do with that Wiggins contract because Wiggins is not going to get paid that much money. And also, it, it determines, it depends on what they do with the, those young players that they just drafted because there's literally no reason for them to be on the team either. So, all that is indeed true. The Low. So, the Golden up, State the Warriors are going to the finals? No one said, said, said that. I, I said, I, but I said it depends on what they do. So, though. then what are you saying about Golden State? I'm then saying it saying? depends on what they do in the offseason. No, 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 before that, before enough. that, before that, because Dale's talking about the roster currently constructed. They're going to win 95 million games. I never don't, said that. I'm you, just saying you alluded to it. A healthy I'm, I'm so sleep on them. them. I'm so course. sleep on them. Okay. I'm okay. so sleep on them. I'm so sleep on them. Real quick. No, they won't. Not without Kevin Durant, they won't. Not without Kevin they Durant, won they won. They won 73 games without Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. And they lost. They and lost. Yeah, but we, Kevin we Durant, love to do that. Kevin Durant wasn't winning anything without them. So what are we talking about right now, bro? Kevin Durant wait. can't seem to win anything without anybody. And these are just facts. Wait, let me ask. Wait, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we let's were, call we a spade a spade. Here. I know. We're going to get here and now we're here. So. Back, Lowe's first point. When you say he wasn't winning anything, you just mean he wasn't winning championships. That's it. And when you say yes to that, we don't have to continue the conversation. That's all you mean. Right? <laughs> I can't you're hear talk, you. You're talking you to me or low? <laughs> you got him speechless. No. I said low. When you say he wasn't winning anything, you just mean he wasn't winning championships. Oh, you talking to me? Oh, oh. Yeah, he wasn't, yeah, he wasn't winning championships without them. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's fine. All right. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's, that's a fear. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. So then, okay. wh what? So fire. That, this is where we need criteria. So then what so what does that mean, Dale? That you're just okay with that? No, because only really one team when Kevin Durant was a Hall of Famer before he set foot in Golden State. He was going to conference finals. Oh, yeah, for, he went to the fact, finals in fact, 2012. Fact, he's a, he, he he's never been the NBA. They never looked at KD as a loser. He just never got over the hump of making it to the chip. You could say that, and I'd be like, oh, I agree with that. But don't act like he got his career started when he got in Golden yo, State. Yo, that's listen not to me. Oh, no, no, How wait, he wait. changed the goal line. Every time Who for changed each player it? is no, unbelievable. No, no, no. Wait, no. I thought, I thought, I thought the original conversation we were having was about trying to win because we were talking about Chris Paul, and then if the the mm -hmm. team that would prevent them from winning, and we, I still believe that really the only team would be the Lakers or the Clippers if he stayed in Phoenix, which it seems like he's going to. The Warriors do not come into that conversation until they get the pieces, and if they get those pieces, then I would believe that they have a legitimate chance of winning a championship. So we still talking about championships in terms of winning something. 
Okay. But he changed it to he changed it to KD. He called KD a Hall of Famer because he's winning conference because he's making it to conference finals and that's his backbone that he's resting on. I mean, that's I mean, so I mean, nasty. I mean, I mean, no, no, it's Yo, fine Shaq, to do that. But what? when you're when you're saying that KD is a better so, wait, so, so player wait, than wait, LeBron so Kevin, James, so Kevin Durant wasn't a Hall of Famer before he got to the Warriors. To you, so who so who are you picking, LeBron just James yes or, or Kevin no. Durant? Just yes or no. He was he, yes, yes, yes. And, and and LeBron James wasn't a Hall a of Famer. A nasty Hall of Famer. He, before he was LeBron James wasn't a Hall of Famer before he got to Miami. But he, he was yeah. one thousand. So what? So what are you arguing with me for? What are you no, saying? No, because I'm asking you which. No, no, no. Because which one are you choosing, Dale? LeBron James today? or Kevin Durant? Right LeBron now, today, James or Kevin Durant? LeBron today, James or Kevin Durant? KD. Right now, I'm going KD. One hundred percent. Not even close. But all in, time, in, though. All time, you going LeBron, all right? I don't know. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Stop! No, you're not. Yeah, you do know. You know, bro. I don't Come know. On. I don't. Yes, you do. Yes, I, I, you do, I, bro. This is it. I think. I think Kevin Durant <laughs> yes, will do, always bro. be a more talented player to me than LeBron. He just will. A more, just talented more talented or more skilled? <laughs> Wait, what? More talented he, or more he, skilled? He, I, isn't talent a skill? Like, what do you, what no, are you saying? Skill, skill is something like, that you work on. Talent is like more so like God given abilities. Well, I don't. You see, this is I. Bron standing, holding the ball, and getting assists and all that. I, I'm, I'm. Bron's a better passer than KD. He's a better passer. He's a better passer. But everything else, I think KD got him. Everything else, I really, he, I think he dribbled better. He shoots better, and all that. All that. Who plays? Talent. Who plays better defense? Niggas, uh, come on, stop, overall? stop. Why are you, why are you pausing? <laughs> Wait, you're well, nasty, let me ask you a question. You're, you're nasty, Dale. No, let me ask you a question. Where was, what year, the year Braun, where was Braun just like a, oh, listen, and then I, I know where this is going next. I don't know if Shaq's going to say it or Lowe's going to say it, and then I'm going to die laughing. <laughs> but where was Braun this abnormal, amazing defender, like just so out of this world, like, oh, he, look at Braun just locking up. Just tell me. Go ahead. I want to see who's gonna say it first. Don't give Go us ahead, the OG the beast take because you came on this show and you said OG the beast is nasty that, for that not having a signature moment. That, that's the stupidest <laughs> thing I ever heard, and I hate them two words together. Signature moment defense is nasty. But go ahead. Explain to me when was Braun just this abnormal, amazing? Oh, Braun just a lockdown defender. Just tell me that, please. Go ahead. I've seen I, lock I uh, Braun slow down Derrick Rose. And there it is. You were the first one to say it. No, I, I was. I was. I was. I've gonna seen that. that. I know, but it, the thing is, I don't. I don't think LeBron and Shaq has to be. Won the I, don't, prize. I don't. I don't. And I don't Shaq think. Won. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think. I don't. I don't think LeBron has to like consistently show that he can like lock down people to be a better defender than Kevin Durant. Like that's but, that's not but, a the bar is higher. Yeah, enough. we don't got to talk stats year. about that. Even yeah, we, this year's KD was a better defender, and when he was so in the Dale. Warriors, he's the rim to pick the, a better defender. I feel like so. All that is up in the air, subject uh, to whoever no, 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 no. Let's be clear; it's not up in the air. In LeBron's years in Miami, he was undeniably a better defender. That, that's than my any, next question. Any any years that that Kevin Durant has ever had in his career, Kevin. Durant Dale, that's okay, my so, next question. Okay, the, uh, my, what was he doing in Miami that you say what like what what game what not game like what, what moment not moment like what. In my Moment. mind, can I remember what in my mind could I remember him just being this sounds like signature moments to me? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. You said, what's no, 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 really no, close. no, 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 what I'm game, what game. moment? This is sounding, I'm watching games. This is sounding I'm awfully familiar. Games. No, I'm watching games and I'm like, where is it? I, I remember Braun in Miami and him he was locking down in the bubble. George. He was locking down in the bubble. I remember Braun getting cooked by poor George in Miami. I remember. You, so I'm just trying so to. So Dale, say, quick question, like, Dale. One question. One question. So you're trying to tell me Kevin Durant with D Wade and Bosh, they win four titles. The least they win is two, like Braun did. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. The least right. they win is two. Okay. okay. Definitely. That's all I want to know. And no cap. No, 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 one more thing. They probably win three, no cap. And, and I'm going to tell against you Against Dallas? I think they win to Dallas. And the yeah. only reason is because I think you'll see more of D-Way than you'll see more of Bosch with a KD than you would have seen them with LeBron. <laughs> all right, I'm okay. serious. There it goes, I, Player's I, I, Choice I, I chat. I agree. I agree. There it goes. No, no, players' choice bingo players. It's always in that top right corner that oh LeBron changes God. everybody's game. So put your chip he on does. the top right <laughs> he bingo does. card. Yo, you can always count on that one. Shaq, 
And, the, and, and, and I think they for sure get the Dallas one. They I get that they, Dallas one that year. They get that because KD's just a better shooter. I agree. He just they get that one. Check. In all seriousness, we need to make a player's choice bingo card. Yeah, for real. Um, for real. Moving <laughs> along, let's rank some some duos here. Uh, we got LeBron and Russell Westbrook, who we have yet to see, but we're going to throw them up here. LeBron and Westbrook on the Lakers. KD, Westbrook in OKC. LeBron, Kyrie, I'm assuming Cavs. Jack? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, KD, Kyrie on the Nets. Um, Dell, we'll let you start. Read that again. <laughs> yep. Because I, I, I can think tell I you mine. I got you. I right can up. tell you mine, Dell. I can tell you mine. Okay. Le- uh, LeBron, Kyrie with uh, the Cavs, obviously won. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you right now, LeBron and Russ is going to be better than oh, even KD and not. Russ. Okay. I'm telling you, they're going to be better. I know, I know, I'm not going to say that they're better, but they're going to be better. But even with that, I'll put them three in Katie and Kyrie, they're fourth. Okay, let me go now. Who's two? Wait, who's two? Who's two? In Nets. Katie and Westbrook, they're they're, they're second. They're second. Uh, So Katie, Westbrook, second. Del, you got the list or you want me to read it off again? No, I guess it's just the X's, the list of the X's, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then LeBron and Westbrook. So Lakers, even, OKC, honestly, Cavs, Nets. I don't want to make a list, but is this the same episode where Shaq don't see Westbrook and Braun working? I put them third. I didn't, KD but, and Kyrie didn't work. But you just said what? they're going to end up being better. I put them third and I put KD and Kyrie fourth. What's wrong with how that? Does, how does Who KD we put? and Kyrie not work? Just because of injuries? <laughs> yeah, listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm not doing this. You got injured. That's a part of basketball. That's a stat. We cannot sit here and stop acting like injuries aren't stats. It's a stat. How dependable are you in a, in a playoff series in a regular season? That's a stat. That's probably the most important stat in basketball. Injuries. Check, I correct? Think, check. I think your brain is yes. a little jumbled over here thinking that that has anything to do with how good they are together. Yeah. I, but I, I, but I, I guess, so why didn't I they guess. win a championship? they were hurt, but okay, I guess. So let me ask you a question, Shaq. <laughs> it's a lot of championships so, that were missed out on because of injury. No, I'm, I'm, I, I, I guess if that's Yeah, true. but it's no one saying they didn't work as a team because someone's injured. No right. one's saying okay, Even if they, bar injuries, what does Ky- Westbrook and KD played way better than Kyrie and KD together. Them individually scoring and handing the ball to each other three feet away from each other? How is that a thing? What did they do together that was just so magnificent? But can you make the same argument though that because KD and Westbrook didn't win either though? You, you, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, they they did it. They they exactly. did it. So only, it's yeah, only, only one, one pair won. Only one pair won, and I put them at the top. Right, I feel like KD and Kyrie just dancing around on the sideline, seeing who can dribble and score more. Net, what? Westbrook and KD connected on plenty of plays. LeBron and, K, LeBron and Westbrook are going to connect on many of plays. KD and Kyrie are taking turns. I guarantee you LeBron and they're going to be out there dancing, doing, you know it, you know it. That move, Yo, that move you just did, Bron, don't even know how to do that. <laughs> that's Westbrook's move. First off, that's oh, okay. Westbrook's move. Okay, stop. Okay. Westbrook can do that quick. <laughs> <laughs> like, stop. Okay, I thought, I thought stop. that was Bron's Stop. Yo, okay. yo, Katie and Kyrie, literally, what have they done together that is just so amazing? What no is that play? Off the backboard? Amazing. Okay. All right, so Yo, this guy's so nobody I, got nothing to say if to if that. I, no, no, but if, okay, if I if I answer, LeBron and Kyrie would be first. They they for sure be first. They 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 one day reach the pinnacle. The pinnacle. What does Kyrie having his most efficient season have to do with anything when he's playing against two superstars? Anybody that plays with two superstars amongst them is gonna have their most efficient. Se- he's a casual. My bad. He's a casual. All right. Okay. My so bad, LeBron, LeBron. LeBron. LeBron and Kyrie would definitely be one. Mm-hmm. I would. I would put. KD and Kyrie two, and then KD and Westbrook three, and then LeBron Westbrook at the bottom. And I and I would argue that LeBron and Westbrook, I would argue they're there's going to be potentially a distant four. I don't think that it was going to be close. And that's just because I mean LeBron is older, and I don't I still I have to just see it to believe it when it comes to Westbrook <laughs> and how he's going to perform. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not doing a list, bro. <laughs> 
I got Braun and Kyrie first, and and I'm gonna just keep that there because the, the rest is to be determined. I can't pick KD and Kyrie because I do like them, but the rest is to be determined. But for that list, Braun and Kyrie first, they reach the pinnacle, they want to the chip. Mm. Braun big block and Kyrie close out three. Yo, Travis Game Lindsay time. wants to talk about Russ's legacy versus KD's legacy. Why? Why? <laughs> we, everybody, know, yeah, like, every, everybody knows who has a better legacy. I think everyone has a clear definition. <laughs> yo, yo, listen to me. I, I agree with you guys 95% like, because the other 5% what Steph and KD did to the league and how KD got the ride hit on the coattails of super teams ever since he left OKC is just really nasty. If you go back to the point of OKC when they made to the finals and they both lost 3-1 to the Warriors and KD left, he hasn't been on a regular team since. Of course, Russ is going to be around fighting. Like, come on, man. Come on. I mean, but even, even... Go ahead, go ahead. Go. Come on. Let me go. That's uh, nasty. Shaq. I'm actually two, maybe two or three questions. This might We this know might KD's the ball. better talent. This might stretch, Paul. Okay. <laughs> what team was not super that LeBron's been in since he left Cleveland the first No, time? we're talking about, first off, we're talking oh, just about- Just answer Kate. the question. I hate, I hate oh, when you guys do this. No, mm-hmm. no. Just answer All the right. question. What, what does this have to do with KD and Russ's okay, legacy? Don't e- forget it. Forget it. Everybody's okay. nasty. It's the same. It's the okay. same with Steph too. All right, let it's me, the same let me with add, Steph too. I, I don't know how it's the same with Steph. Okay, but the the point I was trying to make is right. <laughs> I don't know how even, it's the same with Steph. Yeah, either. I don't, I don't know how it's the same with Steph. The Steph didn't. Steph leave. Had, <laughs> they was really no regular way. before KD. That's all. Uh, <laughs> yeah, boy, let, right. me, let me let me just say this. Right. Wait, what? Uh, Steph was regular uh, before. You see, I'm. Jalen, you said you want something. I didn't say it was. I didn't say it was a. I didn't say it was a super team. I never oh, said right, it was so a super I'm, team. Okay, so the the only point I want to make is that even if we were to remove the the status of the teams that they were on, I just still think that Kevin Durant was on par to getting to a point of like having just a better legacy, regardless. Like if they stay on the same team with one another, I think that people remember those OKC teams as Kevin Durant being a better player, thus giving him a better legacy. So I don't. I don't think. Sure, it did it in terms of championships, but I still would have. I still believe that KD still would have finished that that duo with a better legacy than Westbrook. Right. Of course. Yeah. Jack, you're nasty, bro. <laughs> but it, but KD is nasty. I'm telling you guys. Once you guys all realize that Steph was also in on KD coming to Golden State, it gets nastier. Both of them are nasty for that. And then both of them have literally created all of this hype off of creating the super of all super teams. <laughs> And putting up crazy stat numbers, you know, and you guys just hold on to these stats no, for the rest of your lives. It's nuts. You know what's so I'm crazy not, to me? Sometimes people, you need recency bias. I'm you not, know what's I'm crazy? Not. People are not giving Stephen Curry enough credit. Like, and that's the sad Which is also crazy. That's also crazy. Because Steph never left, right? It, mm-hmm. You saying he, but no, no, he no. made... He, hold on, hold on, bro. Yeah, he made yeah, a team yeah. 73 and 9, and KD joined that. That's what made it a super team. One player. He, they didn't create this big... KD just is a free agency. I'm going to that team. No, nobody in the world could beat that. Nobody in the on, history out, of our on. lives could beat it's, that it's, team. It's not like Braun, um, Wade, and Boss, two dudes from separate teams come together on one. It's just one player went. Like they, they Yo, built that up. Why they does that but why does that matter? Why does that matter? Why does that matter? Because I couldn't beat LeBron. I go and get Kevin Durant. You sound like that's Matt like if Kevin. the war. No, no, no. If that, no, no, no. If that, so Dale, with your logic, LeBron could have went to the Warriors if they lost to KD. LeBron went to Miami with no, 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 no. With your no, 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 D-Wade. because that's not the no, no. With your logic, LeBron could have went to the Warriors if they lost to to KD and Russ. Correct? No, that's not what I'm saying. Okay, let's that's move on. That's not what let's I'm saying on. at okay. all. All right. No, you, okay. the, like the Warriors was never viewed as the Warriors until KD got there. Okay. As soon. Okay. That's that's all I'm saying. That is Steph really made something, and that you're like discrediting when you're saying you're not worried about the Warriors, especially not with KD. They were juggernauts before he even got there. Put some respect on that light skinned brother name. <laughs> all right, should we draft our teams? Steph's not who you say he is, but yeah, let's go. Ah, <laughs> okay. uh, stop, Jesus, boy. He's right. You guys crazy. <laughs> I'm I'm ready to do the draft. All right, let's get it. Yeah, so with all that talking, it'd be interesting to see what players <laughs> y'all pick when it comes down to it. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be real interesting <laughs> these next few moments. All right, Jordan, you got the you got the Yeah, I have a you got the uh, order. I have a random name generator. I got all our names in here. I'm about to randomize it. 
And we oh, got Oh damn. I first, thought I, I thought I was second. Okay. We mean. got Dell, <laughs> me, Shaq, Low. And we're doing snake, right? So okay. it comes back. Yeah, 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 yeah. It goes right. up to four, then four down to one. All right, so we got Dell. Oh, oh my it'll be God. interesting to see who Dell picks uh first. <laughs> He's kidding. All right, let's see. <laughs> Make sure I got this. Boom. Okay, and, we're good. Okay. So so we we draft in five. Two off the bench or one off the bench or none off the bench? None off the bench. You just we're okay. drafting five. Oh, just five, okay. Just five. I would love two off the bench, but okay, I'm with you. All right, Dell, who are you picking first? Kevin Durant? Oh, <laughs> uh, I can't see nothing. What? What do you mean? Wait, it, what, it's, like, it's 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 all time. It's all time. Oh, number one pick all time. Whoa, no, we're no, doing no. all pick, time. Yeah, but this is a draft all time. Everybody included. We're not doing current NBA. No, all time. This what? is anybody in the history that's played basketball. You can put on your team. It said, it, said, it, said, it said all time in the in the thing up saying. Yeah, it does. They, I, was, I was I was prepared for all time as well. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, I'm all, right. I'm all, all right. time. I got, I got my whole Low. list of names and everything. I'm ready. I'm ready. Low, low to I'm, mm -hmm. I'm no notes. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm no notes. <laughs> I'm going Michael Jordan first. Okay. As you should. Good pick, Dale. Who's second, Jordan? You. <laughs> <laughs> this sucks. I thought this was current. Current, current would have been interesting, though. It would have for sure. Because I wanted to see what how people would have felt about some of the some of these. Uh, Should I pick Luka Doncic? Some checks? of the slander. <laughs> yeah, some. Yo, some I know you some can't get rid of Luka. All right, so I'm, I promise I'm, you, Luka will still be there. I'm taking LeBron, <laughs> of course. That's a fact. Luka for I'm sure. I'm taking LeBron. Still be there. Luca will be there <laughs> with, the, with, the, with the HK. <laughs> Yo, you guys are so nasty. <laughs> now, Luca for that? sure will be there all time. List right oh, now. Oh man, this. this is about to get so sick right here. All time. I'm picking Steph. <laughs> No, you're not. You're what? You're, you're lying. lying. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, Jack, you're, not. You're, not. You're, not. you're not. You're not picking stuff. Jack, you're, you're actually lying. <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> I'm building hey, a team. He's serious. Shaq, he's I'm building serious. a team. Yeah, what? Serious. No, you're not. No, you're not. MJ you're not. LeBron, I'm choosing Steph. Shaq. That's my one. No, it's not. You're no not picking. Way. You're not. I, I feel like I can't let you do this. I'm about to say, why are you trolling? Because you're definitely oh, gonna be trolling. On impact for my team, why can't I have Shaq? And then, I'm, I mean, Steph, and I'm going to pick Shaq, Shaq on the way back down. You this cannot have Steph because of all the things you said last episode. No, he, no said Steph now. is a nasty Steph guy. Steph just now. Wow. I never attacked his, I never attacked his individual game. Yes, ever. you Not did. Once. You just said never. Yes, Shaq, never. you never. did. Never. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I said as a team Yo, player, when he doesn't have a roster, he cannot win. So I'm about to give him a roster, so and we're about to win. What? I never what attacked it, Steph individually. I you I, said I that never, last, you wait, wait, so you said that last episode? Bro, you can react to it. I'll send you the bot after this. Listen, oh, I never do. said that stuff. <laughs> you might get a billion views because of how Yo, listen. ludicrous. Light, light out sports. I never said Steph was. All right, well, I wrote it down, Shaq. You have Steph Curry as your number one pick all time NBA. All time. For my team, yes. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with um I'm going to double it back with um, um, Shaq and Magic. Back. All right, Shaq, back on you. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> I hate this already. Oh man, I can't no, I can't let that fall to that. No, I can't. This so recency is bias is now? too much. No, it's you not, it's not on you yet. No, 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 no. You got the eighth pick. All right, so I'm gonna go. I got Steph at the one. I'm gonna go Kevin Durant at the three. Okay. Or four. We'll see. I'll go Kevin Durant. This is now nasty. this is backing up my argument. I told y'all no team on earth can beat this. Beat this. Why this do I get go that we're, we're, I go we're, first we're, to eighth? Why? Because a snake. Because how do you get the first pick of every round? Picking so. Draymond next. 
<laughs> Shaq, if you yeah, would have drafted, trying to, Shaq, if you now we're downplaying this draft, team. If you're about to draft the Warriors team, <laughs> Clay I Thompson, would never. I'm, I'm not. A, I wanted Ooh. LeBron, but he was gone. MJ gone. I'm going to cry. We can get real. Do I do this yet? I know who my next my next pick gonna be there, so I'm, I'm going. You got two. It. You got two, Dell. Next. Oh, perfect. I feel like I'm about to swoop yours, Dell. Mm. Picking Kevin Durant. I think I'm gonna go Kobe. <laughs> you got two, Dell. Who who did Low pick for his second pick? I picked so Shaq and Low Magic. Ha- yeah, Low has Shaq and Magic. Okay, I have Shaq and Magic. I have two. I'm going um. Gone, gone, gone. Hades gone. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm saying low got no yeah, space. I was in. just gonna say, <laughs> I, and I'm and I'm completely fine with that, I'm bro. Fine. I'm going because as of right now, nobody has a single player that can guard Shaq because Steph and KB mm-hmm, went mm-hmm, first, second mm-hmm. round. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. I got Hakeem. That's a nasty pickup. I got Hakeem and I got Elijah Bro, how do I spell this? Hakeem. Oh God. Hakeem. I'm just gonna copy that. You just do Hakeem. Oh man. <laughs> Listen, my next pickup. <laughs> I think that's. Come on, Dale. You. I mean, what what positions is? Michael Jordan got a five and a two. I got a five and a two. I got her team and I got. This is the same problem I had. Okay, I did the same thing. So I I got her team and Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan? (sighs) Okay. Yeah. I'm liking that. And I'm liking that. I'm liking that as well. I'm liking that as well. Damn. So I got Jordan, Hakeem, and Tim. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that is dirty. That's nice. That is. Okay, good. It's on you, Jordan. Come on. Know, Somebody said pick up Oscar. Oscar Robertson. No. Oscar Robertson. No. He can't shoot threes. Oscar Robertson? That's a nasty no. pickup. <laughs> the Oscar, nasty pickup. Oscar Robertson is a nasty pickup. <laughs> Yo, Jordan, pick Luca like you're so like you cannot get pick hey, Luca, pick. Jordan. If you pick Luca, you you, you He's you nasty lost. like so that. I feel lost. like I feel like because I got I got LeBron and Kobe. I feel like I got to get one big out the way here. And I'm going to do was, the GOAT. I'm doing Dirk. There's wow. no bad. way. I'm grabbing horrible. Dirk Nowitzki. That's what? Not bad. Wow. I'm That's grabbing not bad Dirk all, Nowitzki. With, with LeBron and Kobe, this is with LeBron and Dirk Kobe, nasty. That's not bad. This is you have no no interior presence defensively. You get out rebounded wow. every time. LeBron James. Well, he got two more picks. Everything. He got two more picks. Two more plays. He do. It's five players you're picking, right? Right. It's five, right? Yeah. I'm yeah. so I'm so bad. I'm I'm assuming the other big will be already off the board. That Can I get it's there. my turn? Can I get a Larry Bird? I'll take Larry. Oh, you lost, dog. That's tough. I'll yeah, take that's, Larry. Yeah. You, yeah you can have Larry. You, you lost. lost. You, have, you, lost. you could definitely have Larry. Lo, you got I'll back take Larry. to back. I'll take I'm, Larry. I'm gonna. I'm going to. Ooh, I'm gonna get this off my spot over here. <sighs> Low. Go ahead and pick Giannis. And Marco said. <laughs> no, I'm not. Giannis. Shaq need, team lost. That's I need, funny. I need. I need. I need some type of. Uh, some type of three point shooting. Some type of spacing. <laughs> I, I, I got wa- all I the wanna, three point shooting, baby. I wanna. I wanna keep the defense up though. So I'm gonna go with. Um, let me get. Let me get Kawhi. Let me get Kawhi, and then let me follow that up with um, another. Let me get another solid mid-range jump shooter, Kevin Garnett, who can keep up the defense. That is nasty. Kevin Garnett, two T's. He has two T's. I'm not mad at Kevin. I'm a Kawhi manager. Um, <clears throat> and I just need one more shooter, and I'm good, dog. Yeah, your let me see. Playing no defense at all. <laughs> No, we're about to right here. We're about to. Because Kareem or Wilt is coming. 
It did, bro. That um, see, I'm taking one or the other <laughs> next because yeah, I have you got to. to. I mean, I to. Wait, is I, it I, all I me with my team? I have no, 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 no. It's on Shaq. So it's coming back down on me, and I and I and I gotta go. <laughs> I'm gonna go Kareem. I'm gonna go Kareem at the five. I wanted Kareem too, but I'll take Will. Kevin Durant and Larry interchangeable switch. So me. Mm-hmm. You. Do I pick two or one? You got two. And these are your last two to round it out. This is my last two. So I've got Dream at the five, T D at the four, Mike at the two. Y'all talking about my spacing. MJ, Hakeem, Tim. Wait, did you say anyone? No, I didn't say anyone right now. Okay, Thank okay. you. I can't believe this boy I'm took... looking at my team, I'm like... That's I can't believe this boy took KD. That was tough. Keep LeBron at the one. You have, I mean, you could put, no, you can't. I ain't going to hold you, though. That that, that that means that K, KD, real, real, we had 10 people, KD would have been a first round pick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's in my um, top 10 of all time. I, I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. That's a great argument to make for why Kevin Durant is a top 10 player all time. If we did, if we did a, if we did a fantasy draft, Kevin Durant would probably be top 10 in every single draft. Right. You're not letting oh, him go. My. Yo, yeah, I, I got my last like pick. I'm, I'm about to get up. absolutely crucified for this last pick, but I think that this makes this team ridiculous. Not if it's Yao. I need shooter. I need shooter. Wait. <laughs> Just wait. A three man. <laughs> Not if it's Yao. Yeah. Get a bucket. Nah. Uh-uh. See, this is the problem with, with Jordan because you still need you need a you need a distributor and you need floor spacing. Well, nah, he can run a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> you about to get Derek Fisher? I'm about to say you about to get uh, nah. <laughs> you about to get Scotty? You about to get Scotty Griffin? Nah, I'm gonna just make the mob mob. I'm taking AI. Oh my god! Stop! All right, your team oh. is dog meat now. What the hell? I'm taking Allen Iverson. Nigga, you started off so, so good tough. too. You started off so okay. strong. That's so I'm tough. I'm taking Allen Iverson. And oh man, you started off so strong. You started off that's so, so strong. tough, Dale. That's really tough out of you. That was AI. the clutch decision. Like when the heat was on, you you thought of AI. That's I, so tough, yeah, Dale. I, I for sure thought of AI. That's a fact. AI a is not in my eye. He's a winner. Oh, in my eye. <laughs> that's crazy. Him taking that bum ass Sixers team, he's a winner. And getting a game <laughs> off the Lakers, he's a winner. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a game off of them Lakers, oh man. God. Listen, that was a nice. That was a nice Lakers team. Oh. I need. I just want to know KD. how the chat Hurts. because they hate me so much. They say my team is invalid. I think I have unanimously the best team right there. Your team comes no. nowhere close to mine, and Lowe's team is disgusting, and Dell's team is still disgusting. Because the the three here. I need a I need a right. I need a cleanup, but all the cleanups, mm, that's nasty. Go. Can't go there. Is, are terrible. you putting AI at the one though, Dell? Yeah, he I know that's the that like, that's a that's a nasty like, AI pickup. This, <sighs> but honestly, I'm just thinking of the team and I just needed I just like AI is out there, like whatever, we'll make it work. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no cap, no cap. I'm mad that I, I probably should have picked. Durant, I probably should have picked Shaq and Durant. That's what I probably should have. But I've, I, I, I still, I'll rock with. Yeah, that. Shaq wasn't gonna be available when he came back to you. That's what I'm saying. I should have just did Shaq. That's for three sure. man. I don't have to be positioned because whatever we playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good question, Shaq. That's a good question. Whatever that, we playing. That is yeah. true. Damn. Are we playing '90s era? Are we playing now? My team is error proof, so <laughs> oh. you can choose. Mm, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. know if you're error proof, Shaq. My team is error proof. Seriously, though, what are we playing? Somebody, <laughs> J- JD, JD, you got to make We're playing Let's regular go basketball. 2000s. Let's go early 2000s. Early 2000s, okay. Just to screw Shaq a little bit. 
Yeah, Light Out Sports is going to have to put this in his little um, NBA 2K simulator and see who comes out on top. Five, I've got Keem, four, two. I'm for dunk. sure going to win. A, I need a three man that. See, I, I, I didn't. I, didn't is... I, I, low key didn't <laughs> I low key didn't think you were going to get Bird that high, so I was going to try to swoop up Bird at the at the end. But Would you want to do a trade? Yeah, went... Bird for who? <laughs> you want to do a trade? <laughs> he went Bird wicked. We'll allow yeah. trades. He, he did, Bird he did, for he did, Magic? He I'll take Bird for Magic. The fellow swap. That is nasty. This is yeah. just incredible. Because it's really no one. Kawhi's yeah, that's that's not true. That's that not no true. One. I'm about to say there's nobody. <laughs> well, for my team, I want I want AI. I I, I wouldn't mind AI bringing the ball up the court and passing it to you. But you need one more. You need a three. You have I would no tell you, Dell, I would tell you, but I can't give you this pick. I'll t- are you picking him next? Yes. Uh, yeah, that's a sick. Because if bro, the, it's I know you're picking. It's disgusting. I know you're picking. I'm about to say this. There's, there's no. There's no way that. Come on. There's. There's definitely a player that you could easily swoop up. They're yeah, saying T Mac, Dale. I I said T Mac in my mind, but I'm like, I don't want to go into. Why don't you pick your all time favorite Carmelo? Please don't. Please don't say T-Mac. Carmelo is next on my in my in my brain too. Melo is there too. I'm, Carmelo is definitely. I'm about there. to click stop streaming. No uh, I'm way. Not, I'm not going to say no what you're saying. No way you picked that. But who but you I say? Want a, I want a, I wanted like a versatile. Like I was thinking Scotty, but I don't want Scotty because Scotty might be. It's just not enough shooting. They're saying who you should pick in the chat, and they're shooting. right. A then few of go, them I'm going right. to say just, just go T-Mac then. Just go T-Mac. I don't want T-Mac. T-Mac is a I'd better. Rather mellow be- I'd rather mellow before T-Mac. Oh, you're okay. All right, whatever. Whatever, dog. <laughs> I'd rather mellow before T-Mac. Well, can we go so we can finish the rest of our rosters? <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm still... I'm Are still you conceding your pick? No, and then I get it back? No, nah, if you if you concede your pick, then you got to pick Bob Pettit. Last. Can... <laughs> <laughs> Bob Pettit is fire. <laughs> I'm going to go Carmelo. There's so many more names you could have picked, but I no, nah, I'm not, I'm not an '80s and all that. Like I would, you could have. No, no, I'm not Mary Mello. No, okay, you could have picked Pierce, but uh, Pierce, I don't. Katie, want are Pierce you about to pick Clay? Sorry. Clay? No, bro. I because I already have. I already got yeah. I take Kobe. I got LeBron running the one. I got Kobe at the two. Dirk at the four. Uh-huh. Will at the five. You need a three. I'm getting Scotty, bro. My defense is now like this is ridiculous. This team's ridiculous. That's a that's a solid. Uh, I'm not mad at that team at all. That is a decent team. Um, I'm either going Giannis or Clay Thompson right here. I haven't decided. <laughs> Are um, you do you do you want do you want to swap Bird for Magic? I kind of do not. I do, but okay. I don't. Let me think for a second. <laughs> I mean, you already have I'm KD Shaq. at Magic. Yeah, but Magic got the one Steph and KD spotting up along with the Clay Thompson and Kareem. That's everything. Because because Curry because Curry can definitely move off ball. That's, That's what I'm saying. Fact. That's what I'm saying. Curry at the two, KD at the three is disgusting. I almost want to pick Clay right here, but I feel like I'm gonna go Giannis. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna go Giannis. I got enough shooting. I'm gonna go Giannis. I'm gonna become truly unstoppable. Give me Giannis. And the- why why not wait? Why not Carl Malone though? <laughs> Facts. Why not? Why not? Why not Carl Malone, dog? I spell that. Right? He's automatic, but I don't like the reception y'all giving him. I oh hate it. God. Let's see if I spelled that right. A N. You can put the Greek freak. E O K O U. I don't got. I don't got three power fours. I also have Kevin Garnett at the two. I mean Kevin Durant at the two. Larry Bird at the three. Oh, there's Giannis here. Three, four, according to Dale. I have a lot of interchangeable pieces. Yeah, no, Katie, Katie can play the, the two and Bird. And Easy, the and it's sleep. I almost spelled that right. Um, I just really, I just need a quality shooter who's not going to give too much up on the defensive end. Um, you got to get Clay, as sad as it is. <laughs> as 
the Shatters. Nah, I'm the the crazy part. I'm, I'm, I I thought you were gonna pick up T Mac because I still want some shot creation as well, just in case on the perimeter. Um, you lost me at Kawhi in Magic together. No, I don't. Kawhi, I think that's Kawhi, a bad group together. I'm about to say Kawhi, Kawhi needs Kawhi needs someone to play make though. But it depends on who you because it. Who you gonna? You gotta put a knockdown, Reggie Miller. So yeah, that's that's the reason why I'm saying my my last is gonna have to be is gonna have to be a, a knockdown. But I don't. They're saying Ray much. Allen. Reggie Reggie gives. Ray Allen's too much a good pick. I feel like I have the best seat, but continue on. You pick Melo and and Iverson on back to back slots. I can't I can't do it no more. Um, <laughs> listen to your five. <laughs> listen to your five. Listen to your five. I don't. Who your point guard? Magic. Yes, magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Matt Magic. Your Magic point guard Johnson, is Iverson. Your Johnson. your your point guard is Iverson. He's gonna he's gonna score. <laughs> On who? On who? <laughs> On whoever? What? Yo, LeBron. LeBron James is picking up Allen Iverson with one hand, hand palming his head and dunking him. <laughs> that's that's, yeah, that's name. You should have got I Vince, heard, Dale. Heard, never. No. I re- I really feel like I have the best five. No way, Bill. No, no way. I love JD's team, but I still don't think it's I think it goes me, JD, low, Dale's team. <laughs> Jack, you are not at the top. I promise you, you're not at the Dale, top. Okay, JD, make a poll. Your, after after JD, after low picks his, make a we poll. Will. I have LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Dirk, Wilt, and Scottie Pippen. That's gross. That is gross. You you lost me after Wilt and Scotty. Lost me. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm go. Scotty's I'm, I'm a I'm bad no, pickup. No cap. Yeah, Scotty's a terrible pick. No cap, I'm, I might have to go with Ray. And who's your five? I might have to go over my, my Ray Allen over Clay is disgusting. I might, I might, I might, I might have to, I might have to. That is disgusting. Uh, but I, I keep the athleticism with Ray Allen, though. but not, that, but not that disgusting. Yeah, but Milwaukee Ray is a different animal. Are you taking yeah. Ray Allen? Yeah, I'll go. I'll go young Ray. Allen. I'm gonna go Ray Allen. I need so somebody. I need, I need. Putting, I need. I need. I need somebody. I need somebody who can play. They who can play their role. Though. I put Ray Allen in parentheses. Bucks. Oh yeah, we clear. I'm not talking about Miami Heat. Magic now. Ray. <laughs> Who's your four man? Garnett. Garnett and Shaq. Yeah. That's not that bad. <laughs> exactly. I like your team. That that four like or five. Team. That four or five duo is is, is nice. I, I like your team. So we got no no cool. cat JD JD. Would have been fine if I like he, JD's team. Of, hey, Pippen. Of, if I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of Pippen either. But if he, if instead of Dirk, he did KG. Nah. Yeah, I like, I, nah. I like, Dirk. I like, I love I like, Dirk. I like slow team. I love Dirk. So, wait, who's your I'm one? I'm taking Shaq? Giannis yes, over Scotty. I'm actually low. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm so, I'm low key pissed off that Wilt and Kareem went that low because I would have not have picked Shaq in the first. I'm I getting pissed off that Shaq is getting I the second Shaq. most votes here. So low. Wait, for who sure. If, if low spans you? wasn't here, I would be number one. <laughs> low is taking a demanding lead. Shaq is second. I'm no, third. Actually, Dell has one vote, so he must have voted. For Dell has a bad team. I, I he Iverson, really does. I, I, Iverson and Melo messed it up. You actually started off really strong. Michael and Hakeem, amazing. No, but it's but all about position. Because if Lowe would have went first or if I would have went first, it, it would be a totally different team. I'm so that's, Mike, regardless, that's okay. but the only guards I wanted was already out. I, I, I could have, I was yeah, about I'm to take Jason Kidd. I should have took Jason Kidd instead of Ayala. No, Dale, Hakeem was always going to be there. Why? Your second pick. Hakeem would have been. Yeah, I agree. He would have been he, there. I wasn't. Either, I wasn't either, gonna get him. Either, too. either, either Hakeem, Shaq, or Kareem would have always been there, and that's the reason why. Yeah, I, but y'all took all the threes and guards I wanted, regardless. I wasn't taking none of y'all bigs over Hakeem anyway. Maybe only Shaq. You pick Matt, You pick Michael though. You had Michael first, then Hakeem second, which is fine. The rest after that, you followed up with Tim, which I'm not mad at. Hakeem and Tim together. Fact. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not mad at that. But actually, I no, you're right. Jason actually, kid. you know what? That's actually, the only you know thing. what? I should. You you right though you right you right you right now because after 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 Michael um KD Curry LeBron all the perimeter and Kobe all the perimeter players are gone damn that stuff I was and I'm choosing Mike James and- Harden over Ray Allen too I am oh, oh no that's disgusting. oh I should have took James over I'm taking AI. him over AI for you sure you take James over AI that team is that that's who I should have picked disgusting. that's it that team is but- better. I like AI though but I should have took James over him I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not, I'm not getting I'm not getting Harden. 
on a team where I just need knockdown shooting already. Yeah, no, I yeah. agree. The round pick is. Am I won the poll? I won the poll. Yeah, you won the poll. Yeah, of course, too. you won the poll, which means I came yeah. in second. Jeez. So I really won. Nah, it sounds like I just know a little bit more about basketball. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was fun. That was fun. Yeah, that was let's, fun. Uh, let's. Uh, do we want to get into this? That was fun, actually. Ridiculous. Yo, look, next time you come back, we're going to have to do the current rosters. Yo, let's... Current Current will really get into some arguments. Current... Draymond's going top 20. This is nasty. I think, I think we've kind of already touched on this one. So let's just get it get to the end. It's a tradi- tradition on this show, low to have the guests rip off their top 10 of all time. So we are going to leave... <laughs> Leave it to you. <laughs> You're looking stressed. Just, just so y'all know, I, I did, I forgot y'all do this. And on top of that, I have never told my top ten before. So oh, this is, this is now exclusive. Oh, <laughs> so, 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 I go. Um, M- MJ, MJ one, LeBron two, three. Um, I believe I have Kareem. Four. I have four, I have magic, but I can switch it for the five for magic. And five, I have Duncan. Six, six, I have Bill Russell. Seven, I have Kobe. Eight, I have Shaq. Nine, I have Bird. And 10, I have Hakeem. Hmm, the Bill Bill Russell one. Can you say your last five again? (laughs) I'll say it. Bill Russell, Kobe, Shaq, Bird, Hakeem. And his first five? Mike, Ron, Kareem. You need me to just say the whole top ten again? You just wanted to hear it in Oh, so you order. don't have KD in your top ten. Okay. No, I don't have KD in my top ten. Okay. Yo, Kobe's growing on me. I'm telling you. I need to update a, my top ten. That's a, that's a bad list. No, the the, the, <laughs> the hell, what? That's not that a, bad it's, list. it's a bad list because KD's not in there. No, it, it's just bad. You have it. I'm, I'm I'm just biased towards like I think Kobe Bryant's a top five player, and if you can answer me this question, why he isn't? Why do you think? Who is this three, four, five again? I said Dunk, Kareem, Duncan. Magic, Duncan. Yeah. What Magic and? Kobe Bryant is a splendid image of Michael Jordan, and he's the greatest player. So how he goes from one towards to seven is beyond me, and I because, will never because, understand that. Because he's because he's not as efficient, he's not as good as a defender, he's not as good as an athlete, he's not as good as a um, decision maker. <laughs> Wait, what? He's not as this. He can be a splitting image. That doesn't mean that he's just as good. Kobe Bryant is the second greatest basketball player ever to me. No. 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 He's so you like, well, you you <laughs> so, let me let me ask you, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. If your, fa- if, you're, if, you're, if, you're fa- if your favorite if your favorite drink is Coke, and there's a knockout brand of Coke, does that mean that it's the second best drink of all time? It's not a knockoff though, <laughs> but it, it's way more than a knockoff. It's not a knockoff would be a Family Dollar Coke Cola. <laughs> Kobe Bryant is a five time NBA champion. Like he, yeah. Guess what? Like guess what? Like, guess, what? Like, guess what? All the players I named ahead of him also have more championships or the same amount. So what are we saying? <laughs> except, uh, except, except for except, except for LeBron, LeBron James, yeah, not LeBron, LeBron James, except for LeBron. Not Le- who and who's this sixth player? I forgot. It was Russell. Bill was Russell, LeBron. Kobe, Shaq, Bird, Hakeem. Yeah, and, and then you do this, and then people do this. Like <laughs> you just look at numbers. Russell, Bill Russell is better than Kobe Bryant. Like you serious? Like yeah, come on. Well, the <laughs> argument the argument is who's greater, not who's better. Who's better than yeah? Bill Russell wouldn't be in my top ten, but oh, he's greater. he's gr- okay. He's greater. Like greater. Tim Duncan, greater. Like I love Timmy, but come on, like stop. Why? Why mm-hmm. wouldn't? Why wouldn't? Why wouldn't Duncan be higher than Kobe? Why would he be? If they have you, you first of all, you led with rings, so they have the same amount of rings. No, I just I, led with rings compared to Kobe and the knockoff thing you were saying. Not compared to other players. That's why I said rings. You said a knockoff brand, a knockoff. Conan Kobe Bryant, a knockoff. Well, I mean, I, I, like, I, I answer it. Co- Duncan has just as just as just the same amount of success, if not mm-hmm. greater. If you can argue better. 
he not only was more, he was, he was just as impactful, if not longer than Kobe. Impactful? What do you mean? Impactful to his team or to the yeah, so he's like, no, no, to his to team. I'm not, I'm not, I don't do the whole thing. Oh, life. of course. I'm, yeah, okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not about to make a Space Jam argument. No, I'm not about to make that. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. And then, and you then. You should. No, I'm not, I'm not about to make a Space Jam argument. That <laughs> and then, and then finally, I think that, I don't think that, um, Duncan ever really got in the way of his team's success like Kobe did. And I think that-, that When did Kobe get in the way of his team's success? 2003. How did he gain his way by Shaq uh, two, not being me, in excuse shape? Me, 2000, excuse me, 2004. How did he gain his way by Shaq not being in shape? Because Kobe openly openly admitted himself that he got in his way and didn't pr- properly- prepare. Yeah, he didn't He didn't buy into Shaq not working out and coming to the game hard. And, and the crazy thing, I agree with that. That's the reason why Shaq is below Kobe in my opinion. But- Kobe also got in the way of his his team succeeding in that series. He openly admitted it himself. I agree with you that Shaq, people don't put enough blame but, on but Shaq. Yeah, he, thing, he but yeah, he admitted it when he got older. Like I could have did this differently, but he I think him going back in that time, he'll do it the same way if Shaq is that same person. That's all I'm saying. I disagree like, because I think Shaq out of weight still would have given ben, ben Wallace massive buckets. And he didn't, he was damn near not, he wasn't passing the ball early enough. He was getting, he was allowing himself to get trapped. Damn near at the half court line with between um between Prince and Hamilton and, and, and didn't I, properly prep them. And prep them. that Pistons team was having them averaging 84, 84 points per game. And that so. should not happen. <laughs> that should not happen. And I agree with that. And I still don't think out of all that being said, we got Bill Russell. <laughs> top five. <laughs> like I don't, but I don't, I don't I don't Bill Russell I, six. Six though, six. <laughs> Yeah, but Kobe if you seven. if you if if you if you want to switch Russell and Kobe, I'm not going to really debate it. But I don't think Kobe is. I don't think Kobe's greater. Than I want to switch Kobe with Magic and Kareem too. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I I don't have Kobe that high. I just. But I, and, and I personally, you look at Kareem. You look at the numbers and all that stuff. And yeah, then you look at Magic. The little flip. Like, I'm sorry. If I just look at the eye test, I can't see how Magic Johnson is better than Kobe Bryant. I just can't. But the eye, the eye test, and then you don't have KD top ten, and that's where. But I'm see, going but so, but the, but the eye, the eye test, the eye. <laughs> wait, nasty. wait, wait, but but the but the eye, the eye test will tell you that KD shouldn't blow a three one lead. Oh, the eye test will. what? The eye, the eye, the eye test will tell you that okay. KD shouldn't shoot. I'm zero liking for where you're going and, with this. Zero, shouldn't shoot zero for six in overtime. The eye test. The eye, the eye, the eye, the eye test. Let's pause the zero for six. Who in the NBA history, since you're a historian, since you got Bill Russell and Kareem in your top five, who in the NBA history has played in a game seven and the NBA has played the whole game? Who's done that? Name one player. The whole game. No sub. Just the whole company game. I don't I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I, for me, I play basketball. Shaq played basketball. Our mm-hmm. games is 40 minutes. If Shaq plays 40 minutes for a whole game, and have 50 points or whatever he has, and he's looked upon to score and take them shots in the overtime, I doubt he'll make one his damn self. I doubt I'll probably could make one. So you could say the 0 for 6 and do all that, which is fine. It looks like that on paper, 0 for 6. But playing the whole game of game seven twice in a matter of three days, NBA games, you can miss me with the 0 for 6, to be honest. Like, <laughs> but, then, like, but, then, but, then, but then we can, but then we can, okay, fine, that's fine. We can go to the 3 1 series lean blown. Okay, now let's go back to 3 1. That was next. I forgot you brought that up. You, you, you said something about um, who did you have winning that series? I think I think remember. it was, I, I, I can't remember, but I think it was going to be close. I, I vividly remember arguing with someone that the Warriors and, you, um, and, and the Thunder were, were close. They were, they were I had Warriors. I had Warriors in six, right? That series. Okay. And I always I've said this, yo, there's no way you blow that series. You there's no way that could happen. But the shit happened. <laughs> like the shit in, in the game seven, that I think game six, the last quarter and a half, I've never seen him play so he was just off. Like off. Game seven, he picked it back up, but at home I knew they were losing that game. But no matter how you say the eye test tell you they shouldn't lose this game, they shouldn't lose that game. The Warriors was just a better team, regardless. Well, let's let's not let's 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 skip losing. And, and I don't even want to bring up Russell Westbrook as his teammate. That was no, no, no. I mean, not, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh-huh. another. Let's, right. let's, let's, let's talk about game just four, five, and six. The eye test would tell me that in games four, five, and six, Kevin Durant would shoot better than thirty-five percent from the field. The eye test would tell me that he would shoot better than twenty percent from three. The eye test would tell me that he wouldn't turn the ball over nearly three to four times a game within those. Uh-huh. 
Uh -huh. My eye test will tell me a lot of things, but I'm looking at what actually results are, what the results are actually happening on the floor. So even him doing all that stuff, leaving that court, I still think he's the better player than Magic Johnson. But the, if, but again, you're talking about eye test. I'm talking about results, though. No, I'm you're talking results. about that results of him losing that, of him losing that. The results of the eye test of telling you LeBron James shouldn't choke against Dallas Mavericks still has And that's, him and that's the reason why he not won. Still have him number two. So you can't say that yeah, but, uh, makes but, KD not top 10 when he's redeemed himself and LeBron goes from, oh, not one to two. It's well, no, like, Kobe, stop them. He, he redeemed himself with the, the eye test. The, how is the eye test not telling you LeBron James should get one game off of the Warriors with KD? They swept them. What's wrong with that eye test? This I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think an eye test would tell me that. We we just sat here and bragged about how unbeatable that team was. I don't see how no, only possible. one person bragged about unbeatable. One. <laughs> And he has the afro. Only one. <laughs> <laughs> Only one. <laughs> Only one. That I don't give me the eye test. <laughs> yeah, I, I would agree. I, that, that team was that team, that team, that team You was can't use the eye unbeatable. test for falters. And no, you can't say they were unbeatable because that same team that swept the, the LeBron Cavs with uh, – Swept the LeBron and the Cavs. They wasn't yeah, in a, yeah. not, game. not with Kyrie. Not with Kyrie. Just LeBron. There was a, there was in a seven game series with the Rockets, and that's and that and that's and that's fair. They still lost. So all I'm saying, you basing the eye test on K of the eye test should improve. KD should shoot twenty percent. The eye test should improve. Braun should be swept. The eye test should improve. Dallas should do what they did to LeBron but though, James, but and Chris but those, are, but those are all reasons why I wouldn't have LeBron won. Like that's the reason right. Why. And but you go you go from KD not being top ten to someone who just said. This is the reason you can argue KD top ten because if we're doing a fantasy draft, he's being picked in the first ten. I agree. That's but that's that's an interesting take to why you could have Kevin Durant in the top ten. Oh, okay. But the but okay. the point I'm making is that the eye test would also tell me that LeBron should not come back from a three one uh, down three one, and he did that. The eye test. Why should it tell you that? Because what what what, what happened in the first four games to make you believe that LeBron in the Cavs could win four straight? But LeBron, if but if you have but if you have LeBron James at the time and everybody thinks he's the best player in the world, the goat, this and that, that should happen though. I didn't I didn't feel that way about LeBron. Maybe, maybe, maybe I maybe, actually thought they were losing in five. <laughs> maybe, exactly. Maybe maybe the best maybe the best player in the world at that moment. But I wasn't so cemented on LeBron to believe that he would come back from a three one deficit. Like I, I and honestly, I think. I think Draymond getting punched in the nuts and Braun doing what he did, that hurt them in game five as well. But and I mean, I, even, even, even with all of that, I still didn't think that they were going to do it. LeBron, LeBron had to average 36, 12, and 10 in those last three games for them to win. Let me ask you a question. I, the, I, the, oh, wait, the eye test would tell me that LeBron shouldn't shoot 42% from three, but he did it, though. Like, tell he me actually Kyrie did Irving that. stats in them five, six, and seven games also. Because people like Shaq, <laughs> believes that LeBron James won that championship alone. And I feel like Ky Kyrie game five, six, and seven went ridiculous as well. And he just never gets the credit at all. Kyrie in five, six, and seven averaged 30 points on 52, 53, and 100% shooting from the free throw line. That's not, let, let's, let's just stop there. And, and, and guess what? Guess what? That's amazing. That is stupendous. The eye test would also tell me about Kyrie that in, when he left and he went to Boston, that he should not have played as bad as he did in the playoffs. Can we name this episode the eye test? <laughs> no, because because no, I, I, that's, I, the, whole, the whole argument about the eye test is that's cool. I understand the logic behind it, but the eye test can tell you one thing, but if the results are different, we have to go. Yeah, but you can't change it out of the eye test based on what results you want to pick them for. No, I can. What are you talking How? about? I'm talk we're talking because about you just said the, the eye test for KD means this is why he's not top, top 10, but Braun has the same type of quote unquote eye test and he's number two. But also LeBron did things that I was not expecting him to do, which which means that he would exceed my expectations. Kevin Durant, there's a lot of times where Kevin Durant did not exceed expectations. Now, I'm not saying that Kevin Durant, I still have Kevin Durant in my top 15. So I'm not saying like he's so far removed from top 10. What did Magic do to exceed him. the expectation? You weren't even born yet. What it, well, hey, I would not expect that Magic Johnson would still be able to lead those teams to final appearances or final. He has five Hall of Famers on his team. Kareem, Kareem wasn't on his team anymore. He still made the finals. He had Hall of Famers left to right. He probably played with the, he had Hall of, he had James Worthy. Mm -hmm. Who else? Um, he Who had else? Hall of Famers. No, 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 no. Name him, name him, name him, name him. <laughs> no, name, listen, him. Listen. name him, name him, name him. Hold on. You said James Worthy. Who else? 
Hold, I'll tell you right now. I have to. This is one I have to Google. I have to. I'm sorry. Number normally doesn't go here, but at, in, in ninety in, in ninety one when he made it to the finals, what other Hall of Famer did he have on his team? And please don't name tell his me roster. Him. And I'll tell. Just name his roster. James, you quick you, on the computer. Say, I have say, a phone. If you say Vladdy Divac, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> but even though no, I'm, 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 but honestly, it was, Vlade, Vlade, it was James Vlade, Worthy. It was James Worthy. Vlade, Vlade, Vlade Divac back then was Paul Gasol. But go ahead. It was yeah. It was James. He Worthy. got traded. He got traded for Kobe Bryant. But continue. Yes, that was a massive mistake on the Hornets. But anyway, he had James oh, Worthy. Okay, but continue. Yeah, he, he had James Worthy, Sam Perkins, Byron Scott, Vladdy D. Bivot, AC Green, Michael Thompson, Larry Drew, Eldon Campbell. Name stop me when you get to these plethora of Hall of Famers. This is this is probably the only year that he's like this. And they got swept, I believe, right by the Bulls. They still make the finals though, bro. No, and that's dope. I'm, good job, Magic. And the next year comes out, he has HIV. I'm very proud of you. Amazing. And also, Amazing. And, let's, and, let's, and, let's, and let's pause here for a second. Don't tell me about some plethora of Hall of Famers when Kevin Durant blew a 3-1 lead to go join a plethora of Hall of Famers to win. So let's not do that what, either. What, 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 what are we doing? But you, you, you said, said you're, Magic you're talk, calling you're, your you're, talk, you're talking about no, you're talking about you jumping Kevin Durant Let me ask over you a Magic. Question. When, and then your when, criticism when. of Magic is Hall of no, no, no. Famers. That's Kevin Durant critique. didn't that's win. That is that's that's not what a you critique. Just said. No, that's not a critique. KD going to the Warriors, right? Only Hall of Fame at the time was Steph Curry. Clay wasn't Hall of Fame when KD got there. Or Draymond Green. Let's not let's not act like they were. Only person was Hall of Fame when KD got there was Steph Curry. And that's a fact. So you so because they were not playing at a Hall of Fame status, we cannot then put into context how they were playing at that level. Because at that stage, Clay Thompson was playing at an All NBA caliber. Draymond was playing all defensive level defense. So let's not act Yo, like I don't. I I don't think um Clay has made a, a All NBA status like a lot of times as people think he has. I'm I'm not saying a lot of times, but within that uh, finite amount of years, those two oh yeah, years, Clay was Clay was. for sure. He was definitely stepping okay, up. He was so, he was killing. But and but that's my point. The, I'm naming Hall of Famers that has been Hall of Famers while they were playing with Magic. People know that's a Hall of Famer. That's one. It was He's just Hall James Worthy on that team. It was just no, no. James that's Worthy. just that team. Just that that team. Okay, Please. but like, then so so then if, if we I go know back, the '80s team with Bird and Magic, there was a but if, of but if, I, like, if I go back to '88, you're not going to sit here and tell me a 40 year old Kareem is breaking the balance between what Magic Johnson is doing for the rest of the team. Like at 40 year old, what do you mean even, breaking the balance? Even, even when Kareem was 40, they were still they still won a championship with Kareem being 40 years old. Kareem was not playing at an MVP caliber, he wasn't playing okay, at an I, all NBA. So, you know what I'm saying? So, so who was, was other aging. so who was other than Magic? So, so it was just Magic and Kareem. It was, that year? it was it was Magic, James Worthy was still there. Again, Byron Scott, AC Green, a 31-year-old Michael Cooper, who was still good. Why Michael yeah, why Tom, are you saying 31 years? That's Michael, what Russ is now. My, Michael Thompson, but this is the 80s back then, their careers were definitely cut shorter than it is right now. Michael Thompson, Wes Matthews Sr., Kurt Rambis. Again, please stop me when you when you hear the plethora of Hall of Famers. So on that team, it's three Hall of Famers, one of which is a 40-year-old Hall of Famer. That's not is enough. He starting? Is he playing? He's starting. What was his numbers? 15 and 6. And that's nothing. I'm not, saying, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's nothing. But it's not enough to make an argument that you're going to try to either discredit or try to put ultra context. No, I'm in, not discredited. I'm not. No, I'm just saying. I just think KD's better than him based on whatever you're naming or I saying. Would, I, you're I saying would. you're saying Magic exceeded expectation, and then you say the '80s were different. <laughs> it's like you try to tip the I'm, bill. No, no, no. The, well, I'm like I'm tip saying, it to the side of Magic because of whatever God I'm saying, knows. But I'm, I'm saying no. I'm because saying, I'm saying, and another thing. Hold on, please. Okay. You said that you shouldn't say <laughs> you shouldn't say KD. Join Hall of Famers, but then say when KD lost lost three once against those Hall of Famers, the eye test can't tell you he shouldn't have uh, uh, done that. I'm not, I'm, lost, not even, I'm not. I'm not even talking about. Let's remove losing. I'm talking about in the last three games, he shot like below forty percent from three. Oh yeah, he, he was off. So yeah, like that's so off. that's when, when we talk about eye test. We talk about what they actually should have accomplished. He didn't accomplish what he was supposed to. If KD went out there and averaged thirty on 50, 40, 90 splits, hey, all credit to him. At that point, we really got to look at Westbrook. But for him to also underperform, but then disprove the logic of an eye test. But also, even in the playoffs, Kareem is giving you 14 points, 14 and five on 46% shooting at 40. That's that's solid for a 40-year-old, but that's not right. enough to make an argument to how, like, I think that 
Magic was just on these teams that were so dominant that he should have obviously won. Like it was him, but he was and, on dominant teams. He for was that time though. He was. That he was. Time, those was the best mm. of the best players. It, it, him or Celtics <laughs> until him, until uh, until, the until Isaiah walked until Isaiah walked in okay. eighty nine and, and ninety. And we're, no, we're talking about 88, where the Pistons made it to the finals. So even then, and they competed back and forth. I know Isaiah was hurt, but even when even when Kareem was aging and getting older, Magic still was able to lead those teams to then prove that Magic wasn't overly dependent on Kareem's productivity. Kevin Durant and a lot of other players were overly dependent on other players producing to get to that status. So when you ask me about what did magic so, over, over what do how did magic overachieve or exceed expectations, I would argue if if there was some belief so, that so basically magic what you're, that so, would be out of the right. Way. So basically what you're saying right now, based on everything, because I don't know the numbers of the 80s, is if you look at the numbers of magic and them finals and people, his numbers had to be extraordinary if he's not dependent on a lot of people, right? Magic Avenue like 20 and 13 with five rebounds shooting north of 50% from the and, field. And, it was one of them finals. I don't know which it was. I don't know if it's Celtics. I don't even think Magic won the finals MVP. I don't know if it was. Well, I mean, there was. I, there, I mean, early, early in his career, there was a year where like um, Kareem won one, and then there was another one, Matt, um, James Worthy won one. But most right. Of, so when most, you say that, out, out of the five championships they won, Magic won three of the finals MVP. So he actually won most of the finals MVP in there in that stretch. Yes. Right. So the, if he averaged twenty and twelve or twenty and thirteen. Like other people are still hooping is what I'm saying. Like I'm not people saying are still. I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying that it's it's literally nobody. What, else what player you know could average 20 and 11 this year, 20 and 12 in the NBA Finals now and be Finals MVP? It depends on what the rest of the roster looks like. If it's just a bunch of, if Chris, if Chris Paul average they won and Chris Paul averaged 20 and 12. Chris Paul was not winning Finals MVP this year. I think I think I think Chris Paul would have had a good chance of winning it. If Chris, he was if, Chris not Ball, winning. if Chris Ball averaged 20, 22, and 12, and they won, <laughs> I think I think he would have I think he would have won. Five. He averaged 21 and like seven or eight. And if they would have won the games, he wouldn't won finals MVP. It was going to Dev Booker. I know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I don't know. I'm all I'm saying is you asked me what scenario I think this year if Chris Ball could have been a very feasible scenario where they could have won. If he if, if they, they gave it to him, it was like, here, just hold this. We know the long way we didn't give Kobe. We didn't give Kobe. We didn't give Kobe. We didn't give Kobe. Dude, Chris where I'm confused is. is. I was going to say, we finally figured out how to keep Shaq quiet. That was also amazing. Also, let me, also, at 87, he averaged 20. He, he, averaged 20 <laughs> he averaged 26, 13, and 8 in the finals. Magic Johnson. 26, 13, and 8. That's, That's great, great number. numbers. Kareem, I know. Is, Kareem is 39 and barely averaging 20. So even again, well, he's thirty nine. I, I know, but the, but, the, no, no, but the point I'm making is that even when Kareem was slowly deteriorating in his productivity because his age, Magic still proved that even if you go from thirty to twenty five to twenty to fifteen points, we can still get to the finals because of my impact and what I can do on his team. That's that's what I'm proving. There's a lot of other players who have not proved that, and that's the reason why. And finally, I don't have to be alive to know someone's impact. I wasn't alive when Martin Luther oh. King was marching, and I still know his impact. So I don't, I don't have to be alive to know. Yeah, I, I, but that's different than compare social justice and me being able to walk in a store with white people to that a was nasty, rapid. though. No, I know, I know. I'm, I'm, talking, I'm, talking, I'm talking about in general. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't no, alive when they landed Panther. on the moon. I wasn't on the, I wasn't, I, was, I wasn't on, I wasn't yo, alive when they landed on the yo, moon. Yo, and JC, I still know Black the impact. I know, I know the impact. Black. I still, I still know the impact of them landing of on the moon. Course, like, of course. Like, I don't course, have to be alive to know this. No, stuff. but, like, but it was based on just basketball and talent. You can see that. That was fire, low. That was, that was. I'm not mad at it. I would have said the same thing. That's Black Panther, like, oh, Jerry yeah. Ward, Black History Month, I'm going to go with Black Panther. The Kevin, best Dale, real Kevin quick. Kevin Lurie, Kevin Lurie, that's what you about to say, Shaq? He close, though. Dale, real quick. If, 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 if KD is so close to the top 10, then where's Steph? That's just all I wanted he's to also, ask. He's, he's also close to top 10. I think, I think, I, I think, got Steph, I think, I Steph right, right next to KD. I have Steph ahead of KD, but Steph is right next to KD. Forget, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, just, I'll what's, just what's, crazy, what's crazy is I think I think I have stuff like twelve or thirteen, and Katie like thirteen or fourteen. They're right next to each other. That yeah. Uh, was is the was that the last thing? Is just ridiculous. yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, I have to say that I just sat back for the last thirty minutes and enjoyed the Juggernauts battle. That was like a Transformers Yo, who, who was, movie. 
No, no, no. When was who was fighting in Dragon Ball Z? Majin Buu and Gohan. Who was that? Where you just could? It was like one whole season long. They're just they're just <laughs> dueling it out, just going against each other, and there's no winner until the very last episode. That was tough. Yo, hats off to yo. you guys. Whoever in the chat feels like they can come up here and do what these guys are doing, you sadly mistake. And I explained to them that you guys are two NBA heart surgeons and um, I'm just a nurse. So I'm, I was just going to stay out of that because Dale dubs it down for me every week. And I just like, <laughs> I'm lollygagging and then Low comes on and I'm like, yeah. I'm sorry, Dale. <laughs> man, so yeah, shout out to Low, man, coming up on here and uh, I mean, absolutely crushing it. We knew he was, this is what he does, but Appreciate there are very few people sure. who can go and make a video and say this point is trash and then come on live and debate live without having you know somebody in your ear giving you all the facts he's just off the top so that was legendary yeah. i can't wait for that specific clip to hit youtube just that little that little 14 minute back and forth between you guys what are we going to name it is kd top 10 is the that I what you want to name it though yeah i just <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got name it the eye test. Uh, eye test. No, man. So thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh Lo, you're welcome back Facts. anytime you want, brother. Um Facts. I'm sure everyone already knows where to find you, but take this time to plug what you got going on. I know you're doing the peer to peer podcast. You got your stream going on. Where can they find you, man? Yeah, it's it's a lot going on, but in, in short, everything across the board, Legend of Winning, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Twitch. Um, I also got a podcast, Peer to Peer Podcast. Also have another channel um called Playback, where the same gentleman with me on the podcast. We um we react to certain things, not non-basketball, but in terms of basketball, yeah, everything Legend of Winning YouTube, Legend of Winning Twitter, Legend of Winning Twitch, and then finally my my clips channel load up where if you miss the Twitch, you can see the highlights on, on YouTube. Thank you. Yo, Lo, to... yo, is your guy's name uh, Agent Zero? I don't mean to be disrespectful. Yeah, he's Agent Zero. It, I, I feel like he should be up here, and then that'd be more who I can spar with when it comes to <laughs> basketball. So um, we got we got the heavyweights. We got Low and Dell, and then you want to you want to bring the light up. with the light featherweights. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, featherweights. I don't I don't I don't I don't think he would because he doesn't he doesn't watch his bat nowhere near as much basketball as he used to. So I don't I doubt he'd be able to do it. But I'll run it by him. I guess. So what you're saying is it would be perfect <laughs> no. for him to come on in the best. Chefs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, it's fine, man. Uh, but hats off to you guys, man. Just like um, I guess somebody else would have seen the reaction video and took it to heart, but I seen it and it was very entertaining. And I'm glad you came and stepped up and got on the show. Like uh, JD said, at any time you want to come back, um, you're more than welcome. We'll reach out to you if we're having a big guest to see if you want to come join. Um, I know Jason Williams is supposed to be joining soon. Um, so maybe you can come back for that one. Dale and Jay will get that shirt. It. The casual shirt. Also, these casual shirts will be on sale. I don't know when. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Casual knows very little about the NBA. <laughs> the player that's, actually, that's, that's actually that's a dope-ass shirt, no cap. I mean, nice. That shirt's thanks, fire. Man. I'm going to have to walk around with that shirt. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, we'll yeah, get, yeah, yo, Shaq, after this, we'll, we'll get his info. We'll send him one. Yeah, 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 send, yeah, 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 yeah. Send me one first. <laughs> that's a fact there no 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 just just send me, send me the link and i'll i'll, I'll, we, I'll support I'll that's support, the I'll thing support. is we don't have anything up yet we need to figure out that stuff we oh, don't know damn. what we're doing out here bro we damn, we actually do have a link it's just not live because you know we we're, we're casual so we were like we're not big <laughs> oh, enough we're not yeah. gonna start not, not only yet we we casuals, we're, we're uh all right dale. Casuals. all right dale yo thank y'all yeah. for tuning in man shout out to you chat love y'all uh like comment subscribe do all the good stuff make sure you go follow low everywhere very entertaining very knowledgeable about hoop amazing guy we will see you on